hello, hello, hello. Oh no, the girlfriend is working. Don't they have police on site because of the big heist this morning? I have not heard anything about the big heist, but she's already off work right now. The only reason why she's gonna come home late today because she is going to meet up with her little political group, the Marxists. So, well, little political group, that kind of sounds, de uh, sounds de not deprecating. Is deprecating the word I'm looking for? Deprecating. Let's get a look. Yeah, deprecating is actually what I'm looking for, because yeah, uh, that kind of sounds deprecating, which is not what I want to say, but yeah, she is meeting with a political organization. What I meant with, with, with little political organization was to say that they are not actually a political party in Austria, but still a politically interested group. There we go. Hello, hello everybody. How are you all doing on this fine day? Hey, Bellatrix, nice to see you. Also, also, Tom Thomas Johnny the Third followed us two days ago while I was offline. Thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. So, so, so. That being said, now with all being said and done, let's get started. Last time around, we did have a lot of progress. A lot, a lot of progress. Like, what all did we do? I do remember we defeated our personal our nemesis. And we kind of fell a lot of story missions. Like, we really worked through those. And now, onward to Gorgoroth. That is the next area we need to take care of. So, before we get anything started, let's take a look at how Gorgoroth looks. Let's take a look at Gorgoroth. So, this one is gonna be a tough one. It's five war chiefs, and a lot of the units in this area are legendary already. Like, the fact that this guy basically just spawned and already has a dire Karakor does tell me that this area will be a challenge. Let's take a look at you, by the way. I cannot quite see your skin, but I don't think you have the right setup for a necromancer. Yeah. Alright, so where do we even start? First things first, we need a bodyguard. And we do have this guy here. He is a bodyguard already, and considering that he is our bodyguard, I think we kind of want him to be a little closer to max level. There we go. There we go. Safra the Poet, there we go. Because, let's be honest, He's the only guy we have in this entire area. Can we still do any other upgrades with him? Uh, could grant him a champion trait. Replace the Foiler's Poison Master trait. Okay. Would I want that? Replace the Foiler's Poison Master epic trait. I don't think Grant's follower greatly increased damage replace. Yeah, I, I do not wish to replace Poison Master. At least not until I know what Poison Master actually does. Increases poison damage dealt by himself and allies. I don't know how good that will be exactly, but for the time being, let's Zaza. keep it at that. Was there anything else we could train? There's very little point in replacing your weapon. Oh! Oh! I did not even know that they could scroll to the side over there. Huh! It's my first time ever seeing that one. Okay, so you know what? You know what? Under these circumstances, since he grants his followers in the new weapons, I might give the dude a hunter gang. It's either hunter gang or an archer gang. How about you have a hunter gang? How about that? That sounds like a good plan. I do wonder, does that mean he comes in with his gang swinging? Whenever I command him to do something, but good to know. Also, also does it mean? Yeah, there's also a couple of other traits over here. Grants the follower boost to fire damage dealt by himself and nearby allies. Uh huh. Grants the follower the boost to poison. Wait, isn't this just literally the poison master trait? Yeah, that did literally the trait he already has. Interesting, I never noticed you could scroll all the way over there. Grants follow the boost the effectiveness of nearby Ologs. Okay, Jesus Christ, there's so many more traits than I would have ever realized. But no, for the time being, this guy is just going to have a gang of poisoners. How about that? I'm going to give him one last level and then we're going to move on with our lives. Safra Potlicker, there you go. 
you have the fortune of being my first guy in this area, so you are getting buffed up even though I have no memory of you. Okay, so there is a quest here. There is one story quest at least in the area that we can do. What kind of story quest would that be? I didn't I see out oh, over there. It's over there. Let us track the Nazgul to this haunted ruins, find out what they're up to to put a stop to it. Do I want to do that right away? Like, let's take a look at what's going on here. Ratak the Legend, Tahra Bone Crusher. Right now I'm mostly looking for a couple of followers of my own. Unarak, for example, that could be someone. Crush of the Eye, weird title. Do I see anyone over here anywhere that just looks like the kind of guy that I want? I mean, generally speaking I always want more Olok, but as it is, right now I don't think... That's my number one priority. I guess I could take on the outpost. Yeah, let's let's start with Crush the Bloated's outpost and see where we go from there. Had it the last time and now again. Sound and video breaking for a second every few seconds. Don't have it with other streams, just like with bad connection. I don't know, just saying. Okay, thank you very much for letting me know. So that is probably gonna be a problem on my end. Huh, okay, you know what, let me take a look, let's see if there's any recommended solution for something like that online. Twitch audio breaking every few seconds. How to fix stuttering audio in studio Welcome back to the much. channel guys, in today's video I'm gonna... I'm going to mute desktop audio real quick. Mm-hmm. Okay, this isn't really helping me. I mean, maybe it's only me, I just tried other streams and don't have it. Like a lag, I don't know, video and sound freezes for a second, then continues. Like, I don't think it will only be you though. But like, if you only have that issue with me, then it's probably on my end. Problem is, I need to figure out what exactly the issue is. Like, that's a big issue because I can't really pinpoint it yet since I don't hear it on my end. I do, did used to have some audio crackling on my end as well, but I don't have that right now, so that can't really be the issue. That can't really be the issue. Make a mic sound expensive? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I do need my audio settings. Ba -ba -ba. Give me a second. I'm just going to take a look at if this solves my uh, problem. Audio, yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, maybe that's the solution. Wait, audio sounds thing, bottom right of my taskbar, okay. Sounds, sound settings, yes. Oh my god, where the hell does it send me now? Sounds. 
sound settings. Is that the right one? Okay. Huh? Okay, let's go to the microphone format. Mhm, mm mhm. Hmm, okay, it is set at for a uh, 48,000. I don't know, it feels more like a lag in or up download. Well, maybe it's just me. Mm, once again, if it's only on mine, it might not be. This still is currently used, audio. Okay, but the hearth problem shouldn't be here, because we are operating at 48 hertz. Because I think I went over that stuff at some point. Sample rate is 48. Mix auxiliary audio, desktop audio default, desktop audio 2 disabled. Maybe the default is the problem. I mean, we could test the speed upload and download test right now. Uh, upload, download, speed test. Speed test. Let's see. Because usually I uh, they do have 50 MBS upload speed if I remember correctly. Because that's basically the fastest I was able to get around this area for a reasonable place. Okay, we do have 47 MBS upload speed, which is basically as good as I can get in my area. Monitoring device. Uh, hmm, okay. Yeah, no, I don't know what else might be the issue there. But if I could ask you, I would ask uh, uh, if you could do me a favor and maybe bring it up outside of stream again. So I will take a closer look at it outside of stream and maybe figure out what it could be there. Because it's definitely not uh, the hard problem here. I'm going to do something though. I'm just going to limit all the things that may or may not use up part of my internet connection here. And close a couple of tabs there. There we go. Is there anything else that could use up anything right now? There we go. That's a goner. That's a goner. That's a goner. I mean, we do have a lot of open stuff right now. So maybe, maybe my internet is just getting drained right now. Okay. I've just closed basically everything right now that I could close except for the game and OBS and Discord. I mean, I, I think closing Discord basically just minimizes it. So hopefully that will fix it for now. If not, I will have to come back to this later. Okay, so I wanted to fast travel over there if I remember correctly. I mean, I guess I should not just go straight for one of these captains. I would be better off to take on one of those missions around here. Mounted Metaka, Drought, Booth, Trophy, and... Oh, wait, no, that's a War Chief mission. That's a War Chief mission. But in regards to the War Chief missions, I should properly take a look at which of the War Chiefs actually contributes what exactly to the siege before I decide to take them on. Because after all, a lot of those are going to become... I will be respawning. You know what, let's take this mission for now, in fact. So it doesn't really help us to blindly start plotting them all. Since... 
then it will basically just be them coming back. Hello! So, what do you have for me? What kind of intel do you have for me? I do know about most of them. So how about we know about you as well? Crimson Bones. Okay, so this guy is fighting off with the other guy, so it's probably not too bad. Since both of them are in this mission and I could potentially brand both of them, why not do exactly that? Why not do exactly that? Hello! I don't really have a reason why I branded him just there. I just decided to do it since he was in my way anyway. But yeah, generally speaking, I do think... Considering that we are in Austria, I do have a pretty good upload and download rate, but I do also know that in Austria we don't have the greatest uploads and download speeds, generally speaking. So it could just be a case of uh, me hitting some form of weird Austrian living. If that's the case, oh then God. I will have to look into internet connections with a better upload and or download speed. But I also really need to take a uh, listen to my audio once I'm done with it. I mean, the good thing is the VOD will be there, aka if it is actually a problem on my end in regards to the upload, I should be able to hear it when going through my own VOD. I might not be Someone able to do those things while I'm still alive, well at least not well while I'm still alive. But once we are offline, we can find it. And if it is near the beginning of the stream, it's at least pretty easy to pinpoint. I mean, it worked usually, just last time and this time. Hmm. I mean, I'll have to take a closer look at it somehow. The thing is, I didn't change anything on my end, but I don't think you would have changed anything on your end either. But it's okay for now. Okay, maybe it was just an internet upload or download thing then. Hopefully it was just that. But I will definitely take a look at it. But thanks for bringing it up. If there's any audio issue... No one gets through here, or I'll have your reds. I don't know about our chances, but we must take that point. Get in there, you maggots. Um, generally speaking, if there are audio issues, I would prefer it if you bring them up rather than just uh, keep them to yourself because if you Snuff. keep them to yourself, it will take weeks or months for me to actually <laughs> notice that anything is going on and nobody gets any value out of that. Like, it doesn't matter if you bring them up live on stream or on Discord or anything, but as long as you notice something, please just let me know and I will try, to try my best to solve it. Alright, so what do we have here? They, they are basically just duking it out right now. I don't really have a great position where I am right now. So how about... Well, I'm off for now. We'll be back in half an hour. You do that. You have fun. Oh, enraged by burning. Oh, you've chosen a pretty poor target then. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just going to interrupt you real quick because I you oh. maggot, maggot. Come on, join in on the fun. We won't be giving up without a fight. We're gonna talk him to death or beat him to death. So, I mean, you're not going to be Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you're a fast shot. Okay, let's hope that he does not die before I get back up again. There we go. So, okay, there is only one solution to this right now. First things first. Oh my god. Is this guy getting enraged by everything? So there we go. And let's go! Alright! Easy pick up there. That's one of my favorite strategies right now to just get a couple of orcs what real quick. Recruit them while they are duking it out. Ooh, you can infiltrate a master. I didn't even notice that you were someone else's follower yet. But hey, works for me. Works for me. That leaves us with one more dude to take on. So... Wait, there's actually two more dudes to take on, but this dude does not matter as much. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I will have to get you out of being in rage. Sadly enough, I do not know your actual weaknesses. Jesus Christ, could you stop shooting? Oh my god, this guy's enraged by acrobatics as well. Okay, this guy's just enraged by everything. 
Um, can I maybe... Oh, there we go. Okay, that... Oh, Jesus Christ, where did you come from? I mean, we do have another chance to get up, so... This club is not That's something, but I guess right now we just don't have any other choice but roll around until the guy stops being enraged. Because the enrage is going to be a huge issue here. There we go. Okay, so he's no longer enraged. And the globs are going coming for my ass. Mm, can we? Oh, no. no. There we go. And there we go. All right. Two pickups. Nice. So, 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 since you are not following anyone specifically right now, I might just send you out to tr Oh, wait, you do actually have a boss as well. You know what? That's actually pretty nice then. All right, two infiltrations. Oh, hello there. Where did you come from? You know what? I do not care. I see a worm. I think the worm... Oh, and who are you? Oh, it's the legend. It's the legend. I probably need... Oh, Jesus Christ. Where did this guy come from? Uh, if I try to go... Oh, Jesus Christ, this guy is really hot on my heels right now. How about you don't do that? And there's my worm friend. Oh, I don't have elf shot anymore. I don't have elf shot anymore. That will make this far more tedious. Okay, can I even do this without elf shot if I'm completely honest with you? I do not know. Especially not if I fuck up my sprint. Hmm. I mean, I just need to get close for a millisecond. You know what? Maybe if I take a shortcut through here. Next maybe if he tries... Do you know what? This actually works. There we go. And... no, nope, I think the worm might be too... Mm, this is a dead end, so... He can't really go anything from... Or anywhere from there anymore. He only has two directions. He either comes back, which apparently he does... Oh god. And he tries to suicide before he gets to me. Or rather, I get to him. But that's not gonna work. Okay, so where is the legend? There he is, Ratak the legend. What do we know about you? Fear of pinning! Ah! What do, do you... Oh, a fear of pinning, you say? I mean, right now, I am a little out of any resources. I don't have any feints anymore and stuff like that, but fear of pinning sounds like a very easily abusable... Here we go. No, no, no. You just leave me alone, you goddamn Catacomb Riders. I mean, if he's still around. There, yeah, he is still around. Kind of surprised that he doesn't have a Catacomb. I thought this guy had a Catacomb, but maybe I'm thinking of another legend. Weirdly enough, we are, this is not the first legend I've ever encountered here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, geez, well, why are there explosions? Anyone want to explain to me why there was just a random explosion over there? Because I don't... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, there's just bombs going off right now. At least the explosions have stopped. I just don't understand why they were here to begin with. Okay, so, so, so. First things first, you know the drill. First things first, we gotta get ourselves some eyes in the skies. Might have been a couple of days since I last played this game, but those basics never change. There we go. Is there a second guy? No, the second guy is on a lower level. Second guy is on a lower level. And the good thing is, they are all gathered around this nice little fireplace here. Ooh, how lovely. How lovely, isn't it? So, there we go. In fact, you know what? No. Oh, wrong move, but you know what? It still works for me. It still works for me. Hello! In fact, I think this guy I actually want to kill if at all possible, just because he will probably drop something pretty good. After all, he is Ratak the Legend. If Ratak the Legend doesn't drop anything useful, then I don't know who will. Oh, fuck. Oh, yes, Spider! Spider, stop him! God damn it. Okay, yeah, Spider. Spider might have stopped him, but not for long enough. Yeah, okay. Maybe I was a little overzealous there. Even I'm starting to get tired of this, Ranger. Oh, come on. You killed me, like, what, twice? I had to kill some of your Orc brethren far more than that. Okay, so he leveled up. Oh. Oh, he tries to become a war chief now. 
And apparently it succeeded. Alright, so we basically just buffed our problem up. Hmm. Well, I guess he just promoted himself to issue for another day. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this, does he still have his fear of pinning? Yeah, okay, so considering that he still has a fear of pinning, I would say we are kind of okay here, even though I would have loved to be able to take this man on. Oh god, and you were this guy's boss. You were this guy's boss, so we kind of lost out on an opportunity there. Huh! Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's just take a look at the map then. Let's just take a look at the map, what else is going on. Execution! Ooh! Executions are always great opportunities. Those executions basically just set up a guy, and I didn't even bring my big bodyguard in. Like, why didn't I bring my bodyguard in? I'm still a little rusty right now. We still need to get warm up, warmed up in here. Been a couple of days since we last streamed. Like, when was my last stream? Now that I think about it, I think my last day off was on Friday or so. That's when I streamed. Streamed, streamed. Hey, let's see what we've got here. Tugok, the Ghoul Keeper, level 35. That's doable. Are you the one getting executed? Yeah, you are the one getting. Executed. You sure you know what you're doing? You don't look like you could hurt a more guy fly. <sighs> I'm gonna warm up on your boys first. Zuka the Believer. Do I know anything about you? Zuka. No, blood. Ah, you've got a crush of the eye. I do vaguely remember that name. Oh. Okay, looks like. Once again, why do you guys not unarm your execution targets first? Okay, apparently I did not hit anyone there. But at this rate, the executioner might become the executed here. Like I'm just saying. Do I want to... You know what, let's take out a couple of units. Let's help Mr. I'm getting executed a little bit. Nobody has to notice that I'm involved yet. There we go. Like, it's still the majority of them are his boys, but right now he performs horribly. I don't know what this intel is about. I might just try to get that real quick while they are still duking it out. Could I please just hang on? Uh, could you... Talion? Please. Just jump off there. There we go. And get yourself the intel and then we can watch the fight. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so there's one last guy to uncover there. There we go. Booboy the Small. Honestly speaking, he does kind of look like an average sized orc to me. But what can you do? So, okay. Hey, there we go. There we go. Now I just need to get in there for a quick second. And... Hello and welcome... Oh, to the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the army, my friend! You might not be a great executioner, but you will still be good you cannon fodder. Um, stay and fight for me, how we'll about that? So, oh, hello Mr. Getting Executed, how are you doing right now? You don't mind it before I could execute two of the good team. Hello. Bollocks to this, I will have my revenge next time! Do you really think that? Like, in all honesty, do you really think that? Come on now! There we go! Alright, congratulations, my friend! You might you just be the strongest the guy Lord. in my bar blossoming oh, army my right life now. For you. Life for you. My life for you. Ooh, and you have a master as well. Isn't that Sending nice? Isn't that off, beautiful? Eh? So, and how about these categories? How about them categories? Well, there's two. Oh! Hello! My flesh grows dry, drained, and depleted, but their hunger does not abate. Now, I'll leave you to rot with the maggots of Mordor. You will swell their foul bellies 
with your putrefying flesh! Okay, that's an archetype I did not need back, but in all honesty, I think we can very easily deal with this, can't we? Yeah, pretty sure we can. Like, we have a bigger army here than you do. I'm just bringing it out there. Look at that. Hey, you know what? Oh, wait. Oh, because that takes two shots. You know what? I'm just going to dominate you manually then. No reason to waste a bloody good category there. And there's yet another one. Okay, so let me get off there. And hello, Mr. Karakor. Look at that. Look at how many Karakors we have here. Okay, so where is the guy we are actually aiming for right now? Hello. Ah, hey, and there's my toxic dude. I don't see an army on his side, if I'm completely honest right now. Do you have a weak sir head? No. At least not right now. Oh, stop hitting my own guy there. Hey! Okay, kind of fucking up right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, there's a lot of chaos going on right now. I have a little bit of a hard time differentiating between enemies and friends, if I'm completely honest with you. Okay, you've blocked that one. You've blocked yet another one. I see how it is. Could you stop blocking? And you've adapted. Okay, I'm... Oh, you know what? We're just going to start swinging wildly at you. God damn it. Okay, you know what? Change of plans. There are new arrows over there. I'm going to get my new arrows. And you are broken. But that's me for enough for you. You are useless to me, so you might as well just die. I literally don't have any reason to keep you around. Because I don't really want to shame you and you then get you back well. up. I'll cherish the memory of this fight. From far, far away! I think he's death-defying, isn't he? Wait, trick? Wait. Ha! I guess he just fucked off! I, I didn't even think they could do that. That's my first time that I've ever seen someone have an ability called Tricky Escape. But nope, my dude was just like, hey, you know what, I'm losing, I'm fucking off. Honestly speaking, well done on him. I did not expect that. I expected him to maybe have Death Defying, but, oh, no. Could you stop that? There we go, because I do need a little bit of a heal right now. There we go, that's better. Where are these fools going? Oh, you're climbing up to me. You know what? That works for me as well. That kind of works for me as well. Was there another fool down there? Yes, it is. I mean, technically speaking, I'm done with healing already, but might as well finish the job. So, ah, and there's my Krauk. How nice of him to show up. So, 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 so. That being said, let's take another look at the map. We did a mission. We did a mission. Successful mission. Gordum Borsum Outpost, Rook the Impale. I should probably take on all the outposts because my understanding is that by destroying the outposts we are weakening their overall army. There is one more mission over there. Ooh, Asla the Fanatical. Yes, yes, yes. I do want Asla the Fanatical. Like of all the possible recruition targets, he was one of the most interesting ones. I think this was one of the guys that originally came in... Wait, can we view the details of Asla the Fanatical real quick? No, not Worm Licker. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, we are just going to go over there and then we can look at him. But I'm pretty sure that guy was one of the invading savage or slaughter tribe guys. Because I do vaguely remember... A group of two Orlocks just showing up at some point, being like, yep, double ambush time. So, there we go, that's all I wanted. Yummy. Hello. Long time since I see you. Very long time. I look forward to this fight more than you know. Okay, I guess there's another Orlock that's gonna take priority. I, but... Why? Why do I always use the wrong move there? So, hello, Mr. Gorja. No. Nope. You want me? To oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, there's one more hunter left over here. You know the drill. Take the hunters out first. There we go, and then heal up real quick. Heal up real quick. Oh, and oh, I see now. You have a couple of nice little traps there. Isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely for you? Okay, so there we go. 
Loppa! You feast on me, I feast on you, fucko! Your traps do nothing to me. Okay, you know that they might do something to me. But so do my arrows to you! So do my arrows to you. Hey Martin, nice to see you! So, are you done with everything in Hollow Knight right now? Because last time I do remember you defeated Absolute Radiance on Radiant difficulty. So was there even anything left for you to do anymore? I do remember you told me that the flower quest can become a little more... Oh, Jesus Christ. Little more difficult from your current position. How about a little quick heal? Here we go. Could you stop throwing dudes at me? Like in all honesty. Just let them fight me on their own accord. How about that? There we go. Should have probably used this opportunity to heal, but this works as well. There we go. And there we go. Time to shame an Olog, because sadly enough, we can't recruit the man yet. Could have, of course, also killed the man, but you know me, I do have a soft spot for Olox. Oppa! Where do you come from? But did you have a good start into your week, Merlin? Tell me, tell me, let me know. Let me be part of your life. I think it is Monday. Wait, is it Monday? I'm pretty sure it's Monday. I swear to God, ever since I've started working a job where I don't really have a big schedule anymore, but I also work weekends as well, I have no concept of time anymore. It's everything is just like, okay, I, this is a day. This is certainly a day. No idea which day it is, but it is definitely a day. Oh, I don't know anything about Crush of the Eye, so how about we figure that stuff out? Most things kinda done. Pumpkin one. All bi- Jesus Christ, you are even doing the All Bindings Challenges. The All Bindings Challenges always felt like pain to me, because quite frankly, I don't mind a difficult challenge in a game, but I really don't like handicapping myself. That's just a personal weird thing about me. Like, I'm rather weak and work my way up to the top, or have the challenge difficulty increase, but rather than just having to be weaker for the challenge. Which, granted, is a way to increase the challenge difficulty, I just don't like how it feels. So, what do we have here? The Elven Art, the Brim was elusive as he was lethal, on the memory of his prowess, killing Uruks without being hit. Um, can do, will do, I Benias. guess? How many do I need to kill Elves without getting hit? Embodiment of grace. Yet we were taken with this beautiful visitor bearing gifts. Jesus Christ, that's so many Uruk. So many Uruks I need to kill there. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to find out. Oh my god, will it come? Okay, you know what? Ah, Dupa! You almost had me there, my man. You were a little bit of a surprise. But I still got you. Try Pumpkin 2 all pendings, finding funny joke. But it's nice having all radiant bosses on my normal farm. Pentry 5 on my steel soul. That if both of those things are very impressive. Oh! Jump past my actual target. Anyone else over here? No. Well, I guess one guy. I do I do worry that I am going to get hit by some kind of random joker from the sidelines at some point. But maybe those are all mini Uruks. Because that would definitely improve my chance of actually succeeding quite significantly. There we go. There we go. No reason to do anything other than good old fashioned Moida. Can I still knock you down and kill you? Yes, I can. Okay, how many more do I need to get to? Jesus Christ. So many Uruks. That's so many Uruks. I don't even see any more Uruks around. Ah, there. There we go. How many shots do we have left? A couple. Opa! Hello and goodbye. And once again, hello and goodbye. So, okay, those guys are just working in the mill, so they are not doing shit. And you, my dude, are dead already. Where's the other one? Oh my god, I'm, I'm worried about stepping onto one of those geysers and counting as a hit. Oh my god, and there's so many more over there. To my own surprise, we do still have a fair amount of time left here. Like, I would have expected 
to be running out of time far sooner. Come on. Bad little Ulox. There we go. And that's the next one down. How many? Okay, 13 more. Okay, but... Ah, shit. Okay, there we go. You know what? I'm not going to do this for now. That sounds like very annoying. Punch and Time, all bindings took me 21 minutes, that's only counting the winning attempt. Punch and fi 5 took 45 minutes, can you see the problem? Sad thing is, I know that I will probably try Punch and 2 all bindings more time. Was well, an incredibly stupid idea, like Oblobos Marmu. Hmm? I don't know why. Wait, okay, you have to explain that one to me too. Like, what makes you think that Pantheon 5 will take you less attempts than Pantheon 2 is gonna take? Because, in all honesty, Pantheon 5 does include all the bosses, so how could it possibly be faster to do Pantheon 5? Oh, goddammit, and he's running, he's running. Then anything else. There we go. Hey, and there's a new guy. Who's the new guy in town? Hosh Grish the Watcher. I see. Wait, now that I'm... Wasn't I actually hunting for something entirely different? Yeah, I was actually going for the fanatic now that I think about it. My bad, I kind of lost track of what I was actually doing there. Oh ah, well, wasn't the first time something like that would happen. And it's probably not gonna be the last time either. So how about we get rid of a couple? No, ah, god damn it! That's the intel cube. That's the one I wanted to still leave alive. I thought the last X was over an entirely different blow. Okay, we're almost in the mission area. You know, that I'm just going to start the mission now before I hunt down all the other worms. We do know a lot about everyone around here anyway. Okay, worm lickers back at it again, so maybe this is our opportunity to take out worm lickers as well. Keep these supplies safe, and the Dark Lord will reward you. Yeah, he was an outlaw one. The guards are just an ordinary meal. I want those supplies. They're a treat for dessert. No one invading his forces yet, and you know what? I'm just going to blow you up. Hello. Oh, you again. My brother, you kill me. And before you kill me, he kills you. Okay, so we do have to deal with both of them. I kind of wish I killed the other guy now. A chaos adds to the fun. And it means one more corpse to play with. Okay, in all honesty though, now that you are here as well, I think I should probably focus on the Olaf brethren before I take you on. Because I do kind of need the other dude as a part. Oh god. Oh god, he's a ragey one. He's a ragey one. Could you stop that? Hey, oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. You're really trying to go for the kill here. Okay. Wait, Blood Brother Revenge? Who the fuck was your Blood Brother? Why does everyone around here have a Blood Brother? And there we go. Yet another hit. Oh, and you still want to do so. Lord Sauron commands it. Well, oh, Jesus Christ, could you stop that worm licker? I'm really starting to regret. Wait, well, I do not have a chance to finish you off now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, wasn't. Oh no, is he throwing me on top of the traps? Oh my god. I just want to get out of here. I just want to get out of there for a moment. Okay, that's good, that's good. I just need a little juice. There we go. Now we are talking. All right. So you are going to work for me now. Okay. I mean, Pantheon won all bindings easier than Pantheon 5. It even took less attempts and all. But the thing is, Pantheon 1 is the easiest one. Absolutely fair. Absolutely fair. Okay, so that was one problem dealt with. How to deal with the other two problems now? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, you, you have cursed stuff as well. Are these cursed grenades or what exactly did you just do there? 
I will probably need more arrows if I am to deal with both of you. Also, could you just duke it out a little more amongst yourselves? Just asking for a friend. I am the friend. Ah, looks like they actually adhered to my request. How nice of them. Okay, so that will be useful for me if they are actually fighting more amongst themselves. Good Jesus Christ, the one archer guy down there is really gunning for me right now. No, 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 good sir. You are not going to get a kill on me. And looks like Maggot Dude is trying to be... Oh, wait. Okay, looks like the Fnatic is actually too high in level now. I guess I'm just going to kill both of you then. Could you just die over there? There we go, so that's Worm Licker done. Oh, now I get what you're saying, by the way. You meant that Pantheon 2 with all bindings is going to be more difficult and time consuming than Pantheon 5 without all bindings. Because in the, I didn't know why, I don't know why, but in my head I was like, okay, Pantheon 2 with all bindings is going to be more difficult than Pantheon 5 with all bindings. How exactly? But yeah, you know what? That actually does make a lot more sense right now. I guess I was just a little stupid there. Little stupid. Okay, so the fanatic guy has also gained some power now. But guess what? That level of power is not really going to help you all that much there. No! You don't get to do whatever you try to do there. The true servant of the Dark Lord will not fall so easily. Let me guess. Death defying? Of course you are. Who isn't death defying these days anymore? Let's be completely real here. But that being said, you summon your blood brother. Oh! About time I earn myself a promotion. Okay, okay, we've gained ourselves another issue here. Okay, so let's consider, let's reconsider here. Uh, if I cannot trust my own bodyguard, how about we trust ourselves? With a nice little crowd. There we go. Jesus Christ. Enraged by injury. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Oh, no. And who is the last guy who is sneaking around back there? You know what? Doesn't matter. They will probably introduce themselves sooner rather than later. Ah, okay. It's been a while since we had a bodyguard betrayal. Like, I think the last time our bodyguard betrayed us was still back in Nernan. Okay, do we, which one do we prioritize here? Okay, you are dead. You are just dead. Enraged by poison. Oh my god, did you have to poison a man? He really likes his little AoE grenades. But, 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 I see a broken Karakor over there, so that's going to be a nice little opportunity here to both heal up and gain ourselves one unwilling ally. Oh! Oh, the poison just killed you. All right, fair enough, fair enough. So, that still needs, we need to take care of the trade. Ah, wow, wow, you really knocked me off hard there. Oh, God, and we are slowly getting up. No, no, no. I do think I've kind of used up all of my get up opportunities already. So, how about we heal on those rats real quick? Because I cannot afford, oh! Daffropoth Licker is enraged again, but I will take care of this in one moment. Actually, what bosses are in Pantheon 3? Um, I mean, Nails... Okay, in all honesty, I can't remember. The only thing I do remember right now is Nails Age Fly. So, who are you? There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. And we are back up to full. So, okay, you are the new guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. I... Oh, no. Okay, careful now. I cannot deal with you. Oh my god, I even bought upgrades for you, didn't I? Oh my god, those feel so wasted right now. Enraged by injury. Yes, 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 I know, I know. I have noticed you being enraged by injury in the past. So we are going to dominate you. And he's actually healing. Okay, so I can finally check out who the fuck that is. Takra the Flogger. Takra the Flogger. Do I remember you from anything? I don't think I did. So, Appa! He's come back! Swans. Oh, there you go. So it falls to me to put you down. Typical. I have to do everything else around here. 
All right, so where's my there, my treacherous bodyguard? You are going to be no. Oh Jesus Christ! There. Oh, we actually fended you off. Nice. You dare to betray me after all the nice upgrades I've bought you? Fuck you! You look like you needed a breather, pink skin. So I'm giving you one. Ready for more? Of course you're death-defying. Who isn't death-defying? But guess what? I still have more left in my tank. Oh, no. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I do need to get out of this because of grenades real quick. Ah, I mean, I did have him as a bodyguard in the past, so I should probably know what kind of abilities the man has. So, you know what? Let's actually take a look at his weaknesses real quick. Ah, a treacherous bodyguard. I mean, I, we do have some ways to replace him, but still, it's annoying that he betrayed us right after we spent good money on him. Soft target, heavily damaged by ranged attacks. And a fear of pinning. Okay, yeah, we definitely need our uh, arrows back. Okay, you know what? First things first, we're going to take over the category and then we're going to get our arrows back. Okay, there are arrows. Category, you get to deal with them for a moment. Just keep them busy for a few seconds and then I will take over again, alright? Hello, Mr. Olok. Goodbye, Mr. Olok. So, where is my treacherous bodyguard? Jesus Christ, this guy's bombs are quite something. And there we go, fear of pinning. You do not like this, do you now? Do you now? Oppa! Oh, damn it, your enraged by injury bullshit is really an issue, but you know what? We are going to get ourselves a new friend here. Hello, my man, hello. Tarko the Flogger. Oh, you better should be. And you know what? You can help me deal with this little piece of shit over there. There we go. So you're not getting another shot at this. You had your chance to be my champion. Do you know who I am, Maggot? The wrath of Sauron himself will fall upon you for this. Eh, uh, I doubt it. I mean, you have been my bodyguard for a while and Sauron did nothing about it, so... I think I can safely cut you in half. There we go. Goodbye, motherfucker. Hey, and we've gotten ourselves a legendary new sword! Ooh, in fact, we've gotten ourselves a couple of new gear. Wait, ah, goddammit, I re-equipped the wrong sword there. Okay, nothing new over there. That would be a downgrade, so no reason to do that. That would actually be kind of an upgrade, even if only a slight one. But I think we are better off just straight up upgrading this armor for now, aren't we? Yep, yeah. now we are still better. Wait! Yeah, no, still better off. Still better off there. Okay, what else do we have? Um, None of these seem to be better than my current cape. And the same can be said for the ring. So, there we go. I think we are good to go here. Alright, so first order of business. Time to actually promote us a new bodyguard. Whom are we going to use as a bodyguard from here on out? I mean, we do actually have a selection now. Tugo Ghoul Keeper, that would be an option. Like, I mean, look at Tugo Ghoul Keeper. It doesn't look too bad, doesn't look too shabby. Um, It's only real, either Tugo Ghoul Keeper, Ul Kalamar, the Gorger, or the new guy. What do we know about you, new guy, huh? Gang of Hunters, Karago Rider, Bombs and Mines, throw bombs that stun enemies. Well, that does certainly sound like fun, but I don't think that makes for the best bodyguard. Like, AoE explosions doesn't really sound like the kind of thing you want from a bodyguard, if I'm completely honest with you. How about you, Tugor Ghoulkeeper? You have a Karago pack, that's pretty good. Can quickly burrow into the ground and then emerge nearby summoning a group of ghouls to fight. Okay, also interesting. You're bringing a Karagor with you. None of those are ape epic traits, aren't they? So we could probably just turn you into an epic guy. Advanced Clan's Beastmaster. If one of the creature's beasts will not attack him, 
Art does a peaceful roar that calls Kara across the battle, heals allied beasts and compels them to attack his target, mix ghoul and testing ghouls from the wild, can convert enemy Kara. Okay, this guy has a lot of abilities that I'm interested in. And we can probably easily enrage the man as well. So, you know what? Congratulations, you have got yourself that promotion. Two gong. So, wait. There we go. So now, you still need some upgrades though. Two because gong. in all honesty, a bodyguard without upgrades, what even does a bodyguard do? Upgrades is followed to epic. Grants follow champion trait based on their class. Okay. We could just give him a dire category though. Like considering that this guy makes beasts better, I don't see a reason not to give him a dire category, right? Like I haven't had a guy with dire category yet, so you know what? Congratulations, you've got yourself a better mount there. Look at that beautiful white beast. Ah god, Collector. Is Collector an issue though? Because in all honesty, Collector isn't that much of an issue as long- I guess the question does become, can you kill his summons in 1 to 2 hits? Because Collector only ever really becomes an issue if you can't deal with his tum uh, summons in a timely manner. Two gong. So what other tra- oh wait, I still needed to give you a training order. What other training orders can you have? I guess I could give you a grow cursed weapon. Never have gave one of my followers a cursed weapon yet. Even though I still don't quite know what the cursed weapons even do, if I'm completely honest with you. And we could give you a gang of followers. You know what, let's just turn the guy all uh, into an all-out dude. Now you have a gang of savages as well, there we go. And last but not least... Two gong. You're going to get yourself some special weapons. Yeah, you can just have the cursed weapons for now and just see what the cursed weapons do for you. Ah, I need two hits to kill an Aspid. Okay, that's annoying, but okay-ish, I guess. Is he golden cause legendary or cause selected? Uh, he's golden cause epic, legendaries are purple in this game. And I don't, I think blue is just regular followers so yeah there's regular dudes there's the epic ones and there's the legendaries but yeah golden because of epic i don't think there's a specific color for selecting them no 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 because our last bodyguard just betrayed us so we kind of had to assign a new dude also we've got a guy with a lot of bombs so that's pretty nice i think i'm not going to invest into you right now but Tugor ghoul keeper this guy is gonna be fine. This guy is going to work great for us. How can be purple be better than gold? That's insane. I mean, doesn't that make it fitting for our channel then, though? <laughs> alrighty then, alrighty then. So, we've got ourselves a new bodyguard. That now means we now have to do what exactly? I mean, we still need more troops, I would say, because generally speaking, most of the dudes we've recruited so far are actually infiltrating certain war chiefs and captains. Like, aside from Takra and those two, we don't really have any free units. So I guess we should have a little bit of a look around to see if we can find anyone else that's new. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a look around and see what kind of guys are trying to duke it out anywhere right now. Okay, it doesn't look like there is anything going on with the local captains right now. So I guess now is as good a time as ever to take on the outposts. Now is as good a time as ever to take on the outposts. Whee! Oh, and there's another worm somewhere around there. Excuse me, excuse me. Just coming through. Oh, is this the worm part? No, it's not. Sorry, sorry, passing through. Where's the bl And what the hell is going on with these Olocs? Oh, they are chained. Gotcha. Hello! Eh, could you... My dude has really not noticed me the entire time. I was hanging there. What? Okay. Oh my god. Wait. Oh god, he died because I tried to shoot his leg midair. Okay, so much for that. You know what, forget about it, we are just going to get the intel from over there and then move on with our lives. We like intel that's not running away. There we go. 
Um, I mean, there's only one guy we don't know about, and he's a bodyguard to the big boss, the Overlord, so we might as well figure out who you are. Pook the Crippler. Hmm, okay. This will be an issue for later. Oh! We were having a good time until you showed up and made all this racket. Now we have to stop everything just to kill ya. You do realize that you are the guy that ambushed me. I'm just pointing it out there. There we go. Also, you did ambush me outside of the outpost, so that does make it ever so slightly easier for me to deal with you. Oh, and you're immune to executions. Okay, that might become an issue. <laughs> oh! Oh god, and there's Olog as well. There is an Olog as well. Why is there always an Olog? Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Now we are slowly getting into problematic territory. So how about... Yeah, you know what? In case of doubt, bring the Grog out. Up, up, up. Also, also mount the Grog if it all... Po oh Jesus Christ. I just want to get on my blood... Oh no. I just want to get on my bloody ground. because there's so much to ask for. No, oh my god, he constantly tries to grab someone instead of mounting the ground. You know what? Forget mounting the ground. Mounting the ground is out of the cards for now. So we are just going to... Mm, do we think... Oh my god, okay, you know what? Forget about... Oh, forget about the man. Enraged by mortal wounds is not worth the effort. Hey! Thank you very much for your service, my beloved Grauk. And that's why we love ourselves, the Grauk. Grauk summon was probably the strongest skill I've ever picked up during this playthrough. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this efficient, but then again, I probably should have, considering that, yes, it is a bloody Grauk. Grog basic attacks gain more might. Grog execution. Yeah, wait, no, we do have that stuff already. I guess we can do the character upgrades. You can perform an execution or howl to some additional characters, even when your might's not full. Instead, your action can remove some of your mount's health. Ooh, that doesn't sound too bad. You know what? Yeah, I think I like the idea of just using one character to sacrifice it and spam it for even more characters. <laughs> And then we can sacrifice those characters for even more characters. It's brilliant. I found a way to produce infinite characters. All right, my dear friend. You look disgusting. Time to die. These Ologs are pillars of the War Chief's forces. Topple them. Ah, yes. It's been a while since we had a mission to kill the Olog. One of the things that I also like in this game is... No, 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 no. no. You know what? No, you have not seen nothing. Or maybe you have seen something, and it was the last thing you've ever seen. Same goes for you, so there we go. Now that this is done, stealth kills and kill the bloated Ologs. I think, I will assume that that means all of the Ologs. I don't think there are Ologs here that are not the bloated guys Ologs. So, climb up, my dear sir. And, oh. Oh, that's not one of the money things. The money things and these uh, little gadgets to pick up all look so similar to me. The orcs can temper a blade, I'll give them that. They produce weapons in mass, but they give little care to each one. Okay, so I guess we just summon a couple of monsters to take care of it for us. Like, sure, we could do it ourselves, but in all honesty, why would we? Why would we? We can still swoop in to steal the glory at the very end. But for the time being... Oh, oh, can we? Oh, that's so not who I thought I was aiming for, but you know what? Works as well. That does work as well. Hey! Can you please join my forces? There we go. And can you please join my forces? The more of you guys we have right now, the better. Why would it be okay to collect just everything? I honestly don't know. I don't know why they made an exception yet. Maybe because it can interrupt you a little more with these things to just be like, hey, and now there's a little bit of story. So maybe they wanted you to be more conscious. I think they could have still made an auto pick up with the ability, but yeah. That's just one guy's opinion. Also, also, I am going to take over this category because I need my health back. And this is probably the easiest way to accomplish that. 
boss also, Grauk time! So, ooh, let's try that with the summons. There we go, there we go, let's just see how many characters we can get out of this. Okay, so this character is dead, and how many new characters did it get us? One and two. Okay, you know what? That's not too many characters, but considering that it's still double the amount of characters we had before that, I will take it. I will gladly take it. Also, where's the intel down there? There is some intel around here. Ah, probably those letters, isn't it? No. Okay, I have no idea what kind of intel they're talking about. Ah, no, it's these letters, obviously. Duh! I mean, there's very little we don't know about this map yet. Clear target, mark target. We could send death threats out to a target. But I don't really... Okay, yeah, there's literally nothing left for me to do here other than send a death threat out or something like that. Who would we even send a death threat to, though? I guess we can send one to took off the bloated. Ah, uh, apparently not because we're in the mission. Wait, can we? No, we can't. Um, Sundarak. Is there anyone here that we definitely don't want and therefore are just going to send a death threat to? You know what? How about Schoon the Poet? Let's send Schoon the Poet a death threat. Because Schoon the Poet is far too powerful to actually be taken on right now anyway, so we might as well. And by taken on, I mean branded. So let's just get ourselves some strong items. Okay, so the Grauk is basically doing my work for me over here. So how about we take out the one dude over there who's just dilly-dallying around. There we go. Leaving us with two more Orlocks that need to die. Uh, considering that there's a Grauk rampaging through this base right now, a lot of them are still very... Jesus Christ, there are so many Orlocks already. The missions where you just need to draw out the Orlock are always intimidating because the Orlogs are so strong. I attached to those Orlogs. Maybe I'll get out the chains and the manacles. Then you'll be attached to them. Can you send a death threat to your followers? I honestly do not know. That's something I have never tried, but we can test out the next time we've got a worm around. Hello. So, I'm still looking for new arrows right now, because I don't really want to begin this without my arrows being filled up, if I'm completely honest. And there we go. Okay, so there's still... Jesus Christ, just look at this. Okay, that's intimidating. I do not wish to end up in the middle of the Olo gangbang. So, let's get up there instead, and... Jump over. No. Ah, there we go. So where is the big guy? And by the big guy, I actually mean a rather small guy. Hey, there we go. Thank you very much. Hello. Enraged by betrayal. What kind of betrayal was going on here? Oh, I guess one of the archers probably enraged you. I want to test something. Like, let's get me out of this crowd real quick. And let's get another Grauk in there. Double the Grauks, double the fun. Hello. Well, I reckon I can handle you both. I do think he's referring to the fact that I. Ah, oopa. Hello. I don't think I summon a second Grauk. Guess the game does not allow you to go Grauk overkill. Get the truck off you? Gladly I will. And I, I could recruit you. Ah, but is it even worth the effort? Yeah, I do I kind of still need a couple of troops, so congratulations you're in. Judging by your YouTube thumbnail picture, you probably are into Org Gang Bands. That is for me to know and for you to hopefully never find out. <laughs> so you can fuck off my man. Ah, you can just fuck off my man. Cough the bloated. There we go. All right, that is one outpost dealt with. I think the outpost destruction is actually something that's kind of permanent. Hello. Oh. There we go. All right. So there's one more outpost we can take care of. 
because the war chiefs do replenish, but the outposts I don't think do. And I really wanted to get this guy, because this guy looks like Bane. So yeah, that's exactly what we're going to go for right now. Oh! Okay, you can actually climb on that thing. That's surprisingly sturdy wood, because I'm very surprised it didn't just crush beneath the weight of the Grauk there. Oh, you know what? You are a treasure orc, so we might as well get you real quick. There we go. A little bit of treasure on the side. So it's still quite a far way over to my target, but in all honesty, on Grauk feed we'll probably make it in a mere minute. Not even mere minute. Also, is it just from path? Yeah, there's another rare drop. Hey, and there's another little guy. There's another little guy with treasure. No, stop running away from me. I want your treasure. I want your treasure. Bring the treasure back. Bring the treasure back. Okay, my dude, my dude. There we Oh, we can still shoot while we are on this thing. I never realized that. That's so cool. And my Grauk feet are burning. I don't think they should be burning right now, shouldn't they? Oh, and we are actually leaving fiery steps behind now that the Grauk's feet are burning. That's funny. That's funny. You're a funny guy, Grauk. You're a funny guy. Okay, there's some intel up there. I mean, I guess that is an opportunity for me to actually figure out... Wait, did the intel guy just disappear? Yeah, the intel guy just vanished. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Maybe he suicided, he saw the Grog and was like, Nope, I'm not dealing with this. Second playthrough, 50 hours into this one, you, you've never noticed. To be fair, my first playthrough was like 5 or 6 years ago. So maybe I did notice in the past, but if I did, then I've forgotten it. Also, I think my second play... How many hours into my second playthrough are we by now? You know what, we can actually check that on Steam now that I think about it. Because it should probably tell me... How many hours I've recently played in this game over the course of the last couple of weeks? All recently played. Have we started this playthrough more than two weeks ago? Over the last two weeks we've played 20 hours of this. That sounds about right, maybe 25 or so, but I don't think it was much more than this. Because 50 hours, that sounds like a little too much, if I'm completely honest with you. Also, also there's a Shiloh thing somewhere around here. Ah, up there. Up there. That was also something that open world games loved to do back then. Small feels like 50. Fair enough. Small little things you need to collect to get the mere seconds of a small little cutscene. Okay, I think we were closer down here somewhere. These are all blue shards. What do you expect me to do with those? Ah, okay, wait. This controller rumble feels like something is getting closer there. Even though nothing really looks like anything yet, if I'm completely honest with you. Ah. Ah, wait, okay, this is Shelob, supposedly. Okay, I don't know why it's rumbling like this, because I can't get it closer together than this. Maybe if I go at it from the other side? Maybe that's the problem? No. According to the rumble, it's definitely over from this side. Okay, it just looks a little more complete now. Oh, wait, maybe I need to... No? Oh, that was a shoulder, not an arm. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I guess the shoulder is part of an arm. Yeah, see, this is like a tenth of a second. Yes, she speaks the truth. Never thought I'd hear you say that. There we go. All right, take on the second outpost. Time to kill Bane or recruit Bane. Personally, I'm leaning towards recruitment because I really like that mask, but let's see how he speaks. Also, also, he has nipple piercing. I've only just noticed, but this orc is running around with nipple piercing. I don't know how to feel about that, but it kind of fits the entire Bane archetype. Like, we don't know if Bane had nipple piercings, but you can't disprove that Bane had nipple piercings. Kill Rook the Impaler's Hunters. All right. There you go. They are dead. Ah, yeah, there we go. There is the big guy. 
And there's one... Uh, you know what, I do not care. I really do not care about the intel right now. Graug is just coming over here. You could have started fighting them all the way over there as well, but you know what, I appreciate you doing it in viewing distance. And how about we get into there right now? Let's have a little bit of a look around in the middle of the base, because the Graug, let's be completely honest, is just going to do its own thing entirely. The Graug doesn't need any more support. You are an archer, so I don't need to kill you, I can just get you for my effort. Or say it as a weak point when you you rip them. Ah, I don't know what you're talking about. Death is just a natural part of life. So I think that should have summoned a second Grau, if you can have several Grau in one location. No, you can definitely have several Grau in one location, because we at some point saw... Oh! Saw two Grauk going at one another, that was quite the thing. Hello there, my dear Grauk friend, and hello there, my dear little archers and hunters and everything else. Ah, mounted combat! Those hunters are gonna miss the greatest hunt of all! Not to mention the feast that follows! Wait, why do they have nipples? Aren't they born from some dirt hole in the ground? I mean, yeah, kinda. I I don't know much about orc biology. Not very nice, my sweet. Bringing an uninvited guest to the party. Yeah, well, what you gonna do about it? What are you going to do about it? Also, also, we can just yeah have a little bit of a snack there with our beloved Grog. So let's see, let's see how you deal with the Grog, then, my good sir. Like usually with captains it's either a case of okay the Grauk is going to murder you or you are going to murder the Grauk. There's not really an in between. And so far it doesn't really look like the Grauk is doing anything to you, if I'm completely honest. Oh, you can even eat the Olox. Good to know. Wait, did you kill the Grauk already? Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage that just happened. That's a lot of damage that just happened. I don't even know how you did this amount of damage this quickly. But I know that I'm going to fuck off and recover before going at this again. Oh, you are my guy. You are my guy. Well, then it is your time to bring the ultimate sacrifice for me. There we go. Alright. Oh, what the hell? What kind of weird monument is this? <laughs> Well, whatever it was, it's gone now. Carrot Tribe Monument. Okay. So let's see how fearsome they are now. They love Hello. Pain. It's time for them to feel some of that. Oh, ah, god damn it! There we go. There we go. That's the second guy. I accidentally grabbed the first one again. All right. So back to my actual target. What do I know about you? Luke. Vulnerable to stealth. Fear of execution. And damage by range attacks and executions. I can work with that. I can work with that. You might have gotten rid of my Grauk also, so I cannot recruit you because you are just too high in level for that. But I can fuck you up. Jesus Christ. Oh, you are frost proof as well. Oh my god. I think the poison he did kind of got me there. Where is he? What am I stuck on? I'm, I'm on a weird dirt pile right now. Okay, there is not really much I can do about this in this very moment. Because my dude here... There we go. Okay, careful now. We need to get rid of the additional half. Oh my god. Okay, and he's adapted. Well, that had to happen sooner or later. No, and he's frostproof. Okay, I think they have still have one get up left. Yeah. But the additional hunter has to die because he's the main issue right now. Now we can. No! Now we can actually. Jesus Christ! What exploded there? Like, apparently. I don't know what just exploded me, but it got him as well, so I guess that's fine. So, there we go. And no! Okay, you are. And. No! Ah! Okay, and. Get you, get her. You can't get through all of these forever. There we go. Ah, how are you doing so far? Hello, smiling. Nice to see you. We are doing great so far. We've taken on a couple of outposts. So we've cleared the region. We've recruited a couple of followers. We are really working our way through that entire section here. 
So what did we have here by the way? What kind of dagger did we just get? Level 39! Ooh baby! Recruit an orc from the terror tribes level 40 or higher. Um, can't do that just yet, but I will try to keep it in my mind. We saw nipple piercings, true, that too. Sorry Twitch if that is against TOS. They were orc nipple piercings, so technically speaking, non-humanoid nipple, well, non well. nipple piercings. They were very much humanoid nipple piercings. So let's get ourselves our loot and then fuck off. Jesus Christ, we really caused a lot of chaos around here. How are you on this very fine day, smiling? Okay, do we want to do a story mission or what are we going to do now? Are we going to continue building our army? I think we should probably do the story mission. Even though I usually prefer the stuff when, where I am just doing whatever and fighting orc captains on my own accord. But we do need to do the story sooner or later anyway. So we might as well do it now, get some levels through it and then be able to recruit stronger orcs in the future. The smell of death is near. That is the work of a necromancer. Oh, necromancer? Something, something, necromancer. Oh, no, no, no! I am not going to die to a bloody karako on my way to the actual quest. That happened way too many times in the past already. Could you just get up that bloody wall, Talion? I swear to God, sometimes you're really not making this easy for the both of us. Hello! To investigate Nazgul activity. I'm honestly surprised that there's still any more Nazgul action going on. Because Helm Hammerhand was the only major Nazgul fight that I can remember. Maybe you also fight the Witch King of Angma at some point. But right now... Whenever I find you, I know the Nazgul must be close. As long as you wear that ring, they will be closer than you like. For now, I have no choice. It's okay, I guess. Okay. Could be better, could be worse then. Okay, then I'm hoping it's gonna be better soon. -ish. Okay, new plan. All bindings is just insane. So, three bindings it is. Charms give me just options. One. Fair. Isildur. The king who cut the wood ring from Sauron's hand. And wore it on his own. This is the legacy of your rings, Celebrim. Okay, I really can't remember that Isildur was in there. Also, Isildur is probably the dumbest addition in that regard, because Isildur literally didn't have a ring. Like, I don't know if Helm Hammerhand had a ring or not, but with Helm Hammerhand there is a big maybe left. But Isildur, Isildur is just a case of... That guy, we know that guy. When should that guy ever have... Okay, we apparently cannot block those hits, which is impractical to say the least. Hello, and goodbye. I think that should just yeah, make you disappear. No, stop hitting them, I still need him for HP. Thank you very much. Bonus objective of avoid detection. Them rest, turning them against their brothers. Is there no foul strategy the which King will not employ? In ages past, I commanded armies of men, and now they will not gain for me. One more guy over there. So, so I guess I have to kill all of them. This kind of reminds me of the tower mission in the very first game. Once again, I have no memory of this specific mission, so I don't think it was all that memorable. It might just be us wiping out a group of whites there one after another. Okay, slightly more mystical, like Unbreakable Heart from 4 to 6 Mask. Yeah, that sounds like a little bit of an improvement in regards to the actual combat track. Oh! Where did you come from and why did you come? Did you literally just show up here to say your armies become mine? Oh god. Okay, so apparently you literally cannot block their hits. I don't know why, but you cannot block their hits. Fair enough. Well, whatever the case, we are just going to move on. I don't think we have any chance of failing this mission as long as we remember that we can't block their hits. 
Because I'm just going to heal up far more than they can ever damage me as long as I'm not really stupid. And granted, you have seen me be really stupid in the past. Is this guy literally just monologuing in the background? Is that what this boss fight is? Him monologuing while we slowly march through his army? I don't know, that didn't really work all that well with the tower in the first game already. So I'm very surprised that they try to revisit that concept. But sure, sure. Are you the big guy himself? No, you're just the last raid. Well, white, not raid. Okay, good for him. Where are we going? Like, right now you're coming towards me. So I guess I could have just stayed where I was. You just didn't need to... Okay, Talion, work with me here. Work with me here, please. I would beg of you to not do something stupid. Boss fight time. You will submit to the Witch King, and at our side you will serve. Or you will die, and I will raise you as my puppet. You have a choice before you. Okay. You don't. Do I even need to take care of the puppet guys? Because in all honesty, they are very slow. So I think if I just focus his heal though, I might be able to take him out before his little army there does anything to me. Like look at them slowly RP walking towards me. Okay, so he does the same thing. And... Ah, damn it. I was hoping I would be a little faster there, but you know what? Oh, does that still count as me draining them when I do kill them like this? No, apparently not. Okay, that's a little bit of a shame. Does this work? Do I still have enough time there? Yes, I do! Oh, come on. I actually still have enough time here, though. They ah, damn it. Now, though, now we have enough time. There we go. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, where did you come from? All of a sudden. But I guess his hits are also unblockable. Or maybe I just need to block the first one. Hard to say. Oh, no, that's... Ugh. Why? The Nazgul nice fights are so annoying. Maybe I need to interrupt him with something else because... Yeah, you can definitely not block him there. You need to roll through this. Maybe I need to shoot him while he charges up or something like that. Oh, god damn it. Wait, can I still get up from this? Yeah, I can. And please don't hit me while I charge up. Thank you very much. Hey, it worked out. Okay, and you are. Oh my god. Could you stop with your stupid little blade dance there? And, okay, you, th this does not work. What do you want from me there, game? Like, and, oh, okay, so you do need to block, but do ever so slightly faster than you do with all the other Nazis. Gotcha. I see how it is. Whoppa. What did he just do? Uh, okay, that was kind of weird and dangly there. There we go. So, what now? Anything exciting happening here? Like, I am inside the light. Can we shoot him from in here? I don't think arrows actually do anything to the man. I could have finished him off, so I don't know why we are in here right now. We, we've outnumbered this man 3 to 1. And I've beaten 5 of them at once at some point. I don't understand why we are hiding in a bubble. All who are called will serve the Dark Lord. There is no escape, even in death. Yeah, if we didn't hide in the bubble but just finished him off, this would not be happening right now. I'm just Casting pointing it out there. Oh, wait! The Dark Lord I've got still. an idea. I don't know, Bellatrix, did you still hear audio crackling? And if so... 
please tell me if you still hear it, hear it now. Because I remember last time around, I think you did not hear audio crackling anymore once I put the iPhone somewhere else. And I kind of had the iPhone lying around there. So please let me know if that shitty little iPhone might have caused this issue again. I don't know if it is potentially the iPhone, but it might be. And for those of you that are wondering why the fuck do I have an iPhone, I will just say not because of any choice of mine, I hate iPhones. Can I? You know what, no. But I do... Rich streamer, I've got that thing from work. I hate the fact that I needed to get an iPhone from work. I mean, I'm not complaining too much, but I think iPhones are really shitty. Defeat the wise. Yeah, sure. And do. You know what? I'm just going to leave the one thing. Oh! I'm just going to leave the one singular one over. Why can you not interrupt those fuckers? I mean, I guess they are ghosts, so that might be the answer there. But I guess we can still freeze them for god knows which reason. Not that I'm complaining. I would rather be able to freeze them than not to. Can I just spam you to death now? I might be able to just spam you to death now. There we go. And finish my But yeah. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, did you still have audio crackling beforehand? And if so, are you still hearing it from here on out? Just let me know. Oh no, my dog bought an iPhone on me. The car and the holiday in Japan. Who are you? Yeah, th that is my first world suffering. First world suffering is still suffering, Bella Drex. Don't you know, we, ri we white men are the most oppressed minority that there is. Isildur will raise more of Gondor's fallen. I will track him. You and I will meet again. Well, as long as I wear this ring, I'm sure that is true. You just wanted to say anything there, Talion, didn't you? Because you didn't really add to the conversation. You just wanted to hear yourself speak. He swells his ranks as fast as we deplete them. There is no stronger enemy. What? Oh, no, I don't want to look All at the story of Kastami. I want to upgrade my skills. There we go. Mm, so, let's have a look around. We actually do have a lot of stuff for our skills already. Dominate a captain whose will has been broken. Hold to heal all nearby followers. Hold to explode the head of nearby followers. Hold to enrage nearby friendly captain. Consumes wrath. That doesn't sound too bad. I kind of like that one, because I don't really like sacrificing my troops. I'm usually bad at targeted troop sacrificing. Or so I would rather have a buff. Used to our advantage. So, do we have another story mission on this map, or is the next one outside of Gorgoroth? Nope, still, looks like we still have... Nope, okay, so here we only have the quest left where we have to capture Gorgoroth. And all the way over there... Okay, nope, that's still a capture quest. So I guess the last thing on the agenda is to actually capture Gash Gore. So let's take a look at our army. Let's take a look at our army. Do we think our army is ready to take on Gashko? I mean, right now it certainly isn't. I can tell you that much for a fact. Oh, Blood Brothers. Blood Brothers, you say? Guy has a Blood Brother. Wait, is this guy only his Blood Brother but also his Bodyguard? Prax, Steward of the Keep. Hmm. The story quests are a bit underwhelming very often here, yeah? If they are, weirdly enough, still better than they were in the first game. I mean, the actual story is better in the first game, but the actual quest design tends to be better in this game, believe it or not. <laughs> the, me the main pull for this game, the main reason to play it, in my honest opinion, is the fact that you have the Nemesis system. But other than that, a lot of the things don't really stick out too much. Okay, so once again, you three are my strike force, so we need more troops. And this guy is currently executing soon the wreck. Wait, no, you are ex getting executed. Who is Pook the Crippler? You are. Oh, bodyguard to the big guy! Vulnerable to stealth, that's literally useless in regards to you being the overlord. 
Damage by ranged attacks, damage by executions. Make him destroy his blood brother. Ah, now you're thinking with me in my language. That does sound like a very good plan, doesn't it? Ah, Saku the mountain. Okay, so yeah, I think betraying the blood brother sounds like a good plan, but this guy is currently not doing much there. So I think in the meantime we are going to take on soon the wreck just because well we are not taking the we are going to take on soon the wreck we are going to capture soon the wreck and then hopefully taking care of Pook the Crippler as well that sounds like a good plan I do wonder can I actually create an ambush now that I think about it because a lot of the time you have these missions and then all of a sudden it starts with an ambush so do, if I send another man in there, like Suka the Believer, command Suka. you. Yeah, you just ambush Pook the Crippler there, for example. Yeah, okay, so now he's involved with the mission. So we can actually send them into missions like that as well. That's kind of funny. That does bring up one more question that I have, Cough. though. Can I send someone else to ambush the other one as well? So do I have two separate ambushes going on right now? I think I might have. Jesus Christ, look at all the lines flashing up here. Okay, this will be an interesting one, because... Basically, we are ambushing both of their guys. Ch wait. Oh, and Taco the Flogger is taking on Boobar the Small on his own accord. Okay, well then, Taco the Flogger, I hope you have. I wish you the best of luck with that mission. Sadly enough, I do not have the time to take you on as well. Or rather help you out. So I hope for you that you will be able to defeat Boobor the Small on your own. And if you don't, if you actually die fighting a guy called Boobor the Small, or rather if you fail to kill a guy called Boobor the Small, or worst case scenario, run away, I might just have to kill you myself. So you better not fuck that one up. I don't know why everyone says I'm a bad employer. I think I'm very good at motivating the troops. Motivating? Motivating. There we go. According to a colleague of mine at work, I have a very strong Austrian accent, but only while I speak in English, which is funny. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. No, stop it with the shots there, Jesus Christ. Alright, so this will be interesting. I never started a mission where I just started two separate ambushes on both of the targets. Better make sure you don't miss. <laughs> Your death will be bad, but even worse will be watching what I do to your boys. Oi! So this is where scum like you hide out, is it? Okay, so I don't think we get a separate introductory cutscene there. The only thing that happens is that they still arrive together. Ah, well, fair enough. Okay. Oh damn, there's a Kaya Daya Karagor just hanging around. I will assume that the Daya Karagor is from... Wait, who is this guy? No, like seriously, who is this? Oh fuck, that Schoon the Poet. Oh shit, where the hell did this guy come from? I really do not wish for Schoon the Poet to be here. But alas, it is what it is. Hello Schoon the Poet. Oh, Jesus Christ, did he kill the Dire Karagor already? Yeah, he did. Okay, so under those circumstances, let's not focus on the poet too much right now. Hello. From the dead. You curse. Back to steal my immortal verse. So, there we go. And... Come on, come on, come on. There we go, first recruitment. So, guys with that head have a high chance to steal your girl. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he doesn't only have the head, he also has the charisma. He's a fucking bard. Of course a bard has a high chance to steal your girl. Yo, you want to know how to instantly terrify an Uru captain? Go to your story skills and go to drain. And hey, Squirmy, nice to see you. I will take a look at that in a moment. Oh my god, okay, you're one of the iron will ones. 
Honestly, if you don't want to be recruited, then fine with me, but you do realize that that means you're just going to die. Just pointing it out there. There we go. Goodbye, Pook the Crippler. Alright, that leaves us with still one guy we might be able to recruit here. That is Sundere. We just can't allow him to get away. Okay, Takra, you failed to catch Booball the Small. That's a shame. I will have to rethink your place in my army then. Do you have an iron will though, good sir? Let's find it out. Hey, nice. Congratulations, you get to live yet another day, my man. So, but that still leaves us with one Udu down there to deal with. So how about... Oh, Jesus Christ. You do have quite the shots, my man, I'll give you that much. Lucky for me, it does not look like you can finish it off for now. Unlucky for me, one of my boys is bleeding out there. So how about you get back up? Okay, so take a look at the story skills real quick. And go down to Drain, you said. Go down to Drain. I think that's a Rave skill, right? Consume? No, that's not quite what I'm looking for. One of the hand things. Drain, there we go. Quiver of Souls. Draining an enemy replenishes elf shot. Draining or dominating an enemy fully recovers health and gains wrath. And drained enemies also dominate and will fight for you. Okay. I mean, none of those. See well, I guess the Quiver of Souls is still there. But I don't see anything that would do something like an insta terrify there. Maybe I'm just looking at the wrong skill there. Okay, so whatever it is, you... Oh, no, 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 stop it with the arrows. Hey, alrighty then. Oh, Jesus Christ, you scared me there for a second. Oh, and your frost group, gotcha. No, I think I shot one of my own boys there. Might have just shot one of my own boys. Okay, I am officially out of many options there. But so is he. Wait, wait! I must compose my epitaph! At least grant me that! Alright, sure, then compose your epitaph. You have one second. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, promise keeper. Ah, because we sent out our death threat. There we go. Wait, this is still count for the death threat or were we too late for the death threat? Well, it does not matter. Hey, Ekan! Nice to see you, my boy! How are you doing? How does it feel to be free of studying at last? Nice to see you, nice to see you. Okay. 12 elf shot replenished per captain killed. I think I would rather have that for now. How are you doing now that you no longer have to slave away for university? I mean, maybe you still have to slave away for university. I know you're finally through your big exams, but I don't know if that means that there are still other exams following right up. It's the one and only Eka! It truly is. He has returned! He has returned from the world of Laval Noah and is here to do something. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14 Marathon, woo! <laughs> you have fun, you enjoy yourself. Okay, there's a couple more bodyguards there. Hura Bone Snapper, hura, 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 is there. Okay, but that's not who I'm looking for right now. I wanted to take a look at the Blood Brother, right? We wanted to take care of the Blood Brother, didn't we? Have a nice little Blood Brother betrayal. That would be you, Prague Steward of the Keep. Cursed Machine Tracker. Do I know anything about you? You are flammable, aren't we all? You have a fear of more guy flies, don't we all? And you are damaged by literally everything, like all of us. He's so relatable, isn't he, guys? <laughs> okay, Prague the Tracker, time to figure out what you do. Well, I guess we have already figured out what you do. Oh, who is this? Oh, is it just my bodyguard? Oh, I kind of forgot that you are still around. Uh, you can go now, we are kind of done here. Bye. So, oh god, the mission is so far over there. Please tell me that I can already teleport somewhere nearby. Fast travel is not available. 
I was fearing that much. You know what? We are just going to go there by Grauk. We are just going to ride our Grauk over there. There we go. There's some more intel over there. You know what? Considering how many new guys are around here, I think we should take up the intel when we can. Ba -ba -ba. So what kind of intel do you have for me? Because there's so many new Uruks around. You were still someone's bodyguard. Dukes the Oh! I like this guy! He kind of looks like a villain from Aladdin. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool visual. Ooh, and he's got a cool sword there. Is that the black blade? That kind of looks like the black blade. You are sickly, I mean I guess the pale skin kinda gives that away. And a fear of growths! Nipple tattoo lol. We also had a guy with nipple piercings today, so Uruks really like to do stuff with their nipples. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, I think my Grauk just got killed the treasure orc. How nice of him. Alright, time to get out of here. Time to get out of here. Why are you all willingly charging towards a Grauk? Like, honestly, of all the things to charge towards, a Grauk might probably be one of the worst things to try to target. Have you seen how big those things are? Whee! It reminds me a bit of the Guardians of the Galaxy guy. Oh, Drax! Yeah, kinda, I can see that. I can see that. Just strong primary skin color followed by a strong secondary tattoo color. Absolutely fair. But he does have a beard. Drax doesn't have a beard, I think. At least in none of the Guardians that I've seen. I think there are like three Guardians of the Galaxy movies right now, aren't there? Because I've only seen two of them. I'm kind of done with the entirety of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like, I was done long before everyone else when it comes to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I was done before even Infinity War came out, if I'm completely honest with you. So where the hell is the entrance into those caves? Is it over there? That looks like a darker spot on this wall. Mm, but not like an... Oh, wait. Can I jump down? You know what? I'm just going to try to get in there real quick. No, no, no. Can I just... Yeah, I can just manually jump in here. Hello! Okay, and... Ah, there we go. Pick this one up real quick. There we go. So it's basically Kratos Orc. But I would watch a stream of Guardians 3. Yeah, fair. I mean, if it comes as a free stream, then it's kind of a case of why not just mindlessly turn it on while you do something else on your primary monitor. But it's my primary activity. No, not really. Then again, I do have to say, in all fairness, there's basically no movie that gets me into a cinema anymore. I'm kind of done with the concept of a cinema as a whole. Like, if you can't give the you a movie to me on one of my streaming platforms for a reasonable price in the safety of my own home, then I will probably just not care about your movie. I still want to see the Mario movie, but I'm definitely not going to go to the cinema for it. Oh! Whee! Alright, so let's get that mission started. Not the other ones though. Bigger is better. Are we still talking about the cinema uh, experience in regards to watching a movie, or are we talking about my Grauk? <laughs> Draw out Prax, steward of the keep, by rapidly killing enemies from stealth. There we go. See how quickly and quietly you can find yourself all alone. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is a bad start to a stealth mission, in all honesty. A little bit of a heal there. And a little bit of a hostile take over there. There we go. And another. Oh, wait, the other one died. Oh! No, no, no. You gotta replace the man now. You gotta replace the man. Okay, so first things first, we need to lose all of these guys. Otherwise, there's not going to be much of a stealth mission going on after all. And what stealthier thing to do other than destroying monuments? How about that? Okay, so enemies killed from stealth. I will assume that it's just going to be yet another timed mission, isn't Oh my god, they still see me. They still see me. How can I lose these fools? How are we going to lose these fools? The question. Oh, I think this guy. Yeah, these, this guy saw me as well. And this guy saw me as well. And this guy saw me as well. Has anyone here not seen me by now? Asking for a friend, and I am the friend. 
Okay, we <laughs> might have finally lost them. Okay. So that means we still need to find a new target to actually sell. Aha! Okay. And yeah, there's a timer now. There's a timer now. Ugh. Okay, you know what? That is actually pretty efficient. So we only need one more stealth kill. That sounds very doable. Wait, and there's one more guy up. Oh, god damn it. Who's seeing me? Who sees me? You know what? Does not matter. Does not matter. I just need to find someone who doesn't see me. Like him! Alright, Krax, steward of the keep, nice to see you. Stop, stop, stop! Whoever's sneaking around killing my boys better come out or else! Or else what? Or else what exactly? Okay, can I blow you and your boys up a little bit? Can I blow myself up in the process? Yes! Yes as well. Hello! Welcome to my boys now, the far better- oh! Why are you already broke? Okay, so much for our attempt to get him uh, to betray his blood brother. Sorry about that. I actually wanted to really get this guy. I did not expect him to just burn to a bloody crisp instantly. Usually they don't burn quite as bright, but I guess that's, that's him. Alright, I guess that also means we need a new target then. Dang! Is any one of my boys doing anything exciting here? No. In fact, there's basically nothing going on on the map right now. Booball the small, sad. Yeah, sad indeed. You know what, there's, there's still many targets left for us to get. There will be a worthy opponent for us. A worthy betrayer. Like, so many of them still have bodyguards. Like, look at this guy. This guy has three bodyguards. Booth Trophy Hunter, Feral Assassin. I mean, in all honesty, two of his bodyguards are my bodyguard. So, how about we just take care of Dukes the Painted in the meantime? How about we just take care of Dukes the Painted and have all of them betray their boss at once? No more betrayer plan. Oh no, no more of this betrayer plan. Trust me, there will be a lot of betrayal going on. Wait. Oh, and he's got himself a new blood brother! Isn't that nice? Isn't that funny? Also, also, why is he a blood brother with this guy but bodyguard to the other guy? What kind of weird alliance shit is going on over there? <laughs> I mean, most of the remaining orcs are actually my guys now. Like, we really did a number on Mordor's forces here. Dax is so cool, yeah. I really want him, so we are going to go and get Dax right now. Because not only are we going to get a pretty cool looking orc that way, we are also going to have a good opportunity to set up a triple betrayal. And once the triple betrayal has been set up... Oh, who are you? Crush. Crush of the eye. Are you anyone important? Like, I mean, I'm just going to get you no, no matter what. So hello, Crush of the Eye! You don't know it yet, but welcome to my army! Isn't it... It is so nice for you to join me! It's been a long time, eh? Well, you're outnumbered now. Because I'm twice the Uruk I used to be. I mean, I would have been outnumbered no matter what, because look around you, there are a couple of your boys around. In fact, there's one last of your boys around. And... Oh! No, 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 no. Okay, honestly, you almost had me there. I... I was surprised that he was able to still do this much damage to me. But that's about it. Hey, and we've got another one who can infiltrate his mask. I don't even know who he was working for, but we've got him now. Okay, so Dukes the Painted is somewhere in this general direction. This general vicinity. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell is going on there? They're just fighting one Karagor. So I probably need to heal up on my way there, because right now I am running at a risk of just getting annihilated on my way. And I'm not going to go out of my way to look for something to get new into, uh, to heal myself up, but it is something to keep in mind. Okay, so who are you, for example? Ooh, Orlok time! Agur Bloodlicker, legendary Orlok! 
mortally flammable. Considering that I actually would rather recruit you than kill you, I don't know if I want you to be mortally flammable. You are also very recruitable. So, I still need... Oh, you know what? We are going to take the archer from his tower. And that should do the trick in regards to us being full health. Or at least close to full... Wait, the... How did you end up in that wall? Like, seriously. A fuck! Okay, you know what? That wall trick almost surprised me enough for you to get a hit in there. So, welcome to the army. You've earned my respect. So, okay. There's a couple of Karagor riders. I don't really want to stir anything up here. So, we're just going to kill them and then kill his mount and then well I guess I should have just taken over his mount I'm just going to run away I think I think I'm just going to run away there's no point in me fighting these dudes no so, mister ah there we go damn bro suck and we dry not just blood liquor <laughs> so there he is Dark the Painted we know very little about him heavily damaged by poison I guess I guess we could potentially use that but I do worry that using that to our advantage is going to just kill the man. Oh, and even his gang is painted. That's cool. Hello! You blocked me once. Have you ever seen a man flayed? Oh, how you weep before I'm done with you. I have some questions about isopods. Do people actually eat them? I don't think anyone actually eats isopods. Like, if you're in a culture that eats insects, maybe. But even then, there's probably just not enough to an isopod for it to be worth eating. If I'm completely honest with you. Also, also I'm Olog Lord, ain't I? Therefore, yeah, you are going to work for me now. You are going to work for me now. Okay, so you, my friend, are dazed. Dazed and. Oh no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, don't die to the poison. Don't die to the poison. Yes! Okay, we got him before he died to poison. Nice. Abandon your master and serve me. People have eaten some isopods because I do know for a fact that some scientists tried eating the deep sea isopods. They are far bigger than our on land isopods. And according to them, they actually just taste like other crabs or, um, or crustaceans for that matter. Which does make sense, they are from the same family tree as the crustaceans, like crabs or lobster and so on and so forth. So it would make sense for them to taste the same, but in all honesty, our land dwelling isopods are just way too small for there to be any meat to them for us. Like they are more armor and exoskeleton than anything else. I just saw a picture in the internet Taiwan, they eat it with rice, lol, the big ones. Yeah, they're definitely eating the big ones, I can tell you that much for a fact. An enemy captain is pursuing Takara the Flogger. Oh, are they now? You know what? We are going to take care of that real quick. We are going to take care of that real quick. And I think that's the betrayal mission. Yeah, yeah, we are going to take care of that a little later. It's a small kind of them that we can catch in sea and yes, we eat them. Absolutely fair. Like, honestly speaking, I would probably at least try to eat the sea dwelling ones as well. Like, I really like the taste of lobster. So if they taste similar to lobster, but I mean, I guess that they like the taste of shrimp and so on as well. I don't know if all of you ever had lobster before, but quite honestly, lobster and shrimp taste basically the same and crabs. The only stuff that tastes different on them are the limbs. And the limbs probably only taste different because shrimp don't have big claws, big pincers. So who's trying to pursue Takra the Flogger right now? Who are you? Hey! Get him, lads! With all the fleeing you do, you probably run fast enough to have a chance at catching me! Oh, damn, that's a pretty good taunt. Alright, I'll give it to him. That was a pretty good taunt there. So, are you going anywhere specific right now? I mean, I could help you bombing them, but yeah, you are just going to lead them over to your army. Mm, the Olog is actually pretty good at catching up, so I'm a little worried that the Olog might be able to stop my dude. 
Okay, I should not have been worried. It looks like he actually, yeah, he got himself rid of the Olaf. Okay, do I even need to go in there? It actually looks like my dude has the situation well under control. Just hate like laughter, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, we are in agreement there. So what are they? Oh, Jesus Christ, they are really duking it out. But looks like my guy is winning for now. For now being the keyword. Rich streamer eating lobster all the time, not caring about them being cooked alive. I mean, I will be completely honest with you. I am for, um, for the most cruelty-free method of killing with, with all animals. And in all honesty, throwing something into boiling water is probably a pretty fast way of actually getting rid of it. Uh, of actually killing it. Oh. Did my own guys just shoot me in the back? I think they did. So, hello. Are you anyone who is a bodyguard to someone? Okay, you are resisting me and I really don't care enough about you for anything like a fancy little shaming. So, oh, and your arrow proof. So you can just die, my man. There you go. That's this job done. Hey, and that helps Tarko the Flow gain four levels! Damn! Damn! Man leveling up there! Man making it in the world! Yeah. One thing that I would really like to eat at some point is frogs, because I've never had an amphibian before, and I am very curious about how amphibians taste, because crocodiles are reptiles. I know, I've eaten crocodiles in the past, and crocodiles did have a very nice taste. I would put them somewhere in the middle between fish and chicken, taste-wise, but I really like the uniqueness of their taste, and while crocodiles are reptiles, I could see their meat tasting similar to amphibian meat based on the fact that they are spending most of their life in water. So, 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 so. There is a betrayal mission that we wanted to do. Booth Trophy Hunter's bodyguards are leading him to into an ambush. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. So, let's see about that. Frogs after cooked taste like chicken, just their legs only. Okay, it's not exactly a vegan stream today. Excuse me, but when exactly did I ever do something that could be considered a vegan stream? Like, do I look like Peter to you? <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Death threats and Woe of Violence. Bonus FC is added to Death threats. Complete Bruce's quests. Ah, yes, that one. Uh, for the time being, your wraith will brutalize its target. Your wraith will drain its target. You know what? I do like the draining thing a little more, I think. So how about we use that? So, and then time for a little bit of betrayal. Oh, and a little bit of a treasure hunt there, my man. A little bit of a treasure hunt. You sound like you would try some pita meat just out of curiosity. Okay, I will have to know what is pita meat. And in all honesty, there are very few animals that I would not eat. Like, I've tried a lot of things. I've also tried insects and stuff like that. The only animals that I wouldn't eat are endangered species or species that I would consider too intelligent for my liking. For example, I wouldn't eat stuff like crows or cats, for example, or monkeys for that regard. I would also not eat parrots. But outside of those few groups, I think probably everything is fair game to me. How about snake? I would definitely eat a snake. I would definitely eat a snake if ever given the opportunity. I would be very curious how about a snake's taste. Because the only reptiles I've ever had were crocodiles. Heck, I would also eat a guinea pig. I've heard that guinea pigs are becoming far more popular in America right now because peep immigrants from South America kind of bring them with them as food and guinea pigs have a pretty good energy you have to spend to grow them to meat ratio. Never have snake in my life, but seems like not much people like it. Could be, could be, but I do know that I do have some weird taste sometimes, so maybe. Pretty sure pig is as intelligent as a cat, if not more. Pigs, I think pigs are more intelligent than dogs, but not as intelligent as cats. Also, with pigs, there is the point that I think pigs are so not cute. <laughs> <laughs> I Maybe I'm biased there, but pigs have such 
annoying screams and yes they might be intelligent but they also are kind of weird and like I, I don't really care about pigs if I'm completely honest but in that regard so what do we ah yes our betrayal scream what have we got here I think it's time for us to have a little fun oh a little fun we'll have Lord. Look at that! Oh! Oh my god! You just ripped the category to shreds! Well then, hello my man! What kind of weaknesses did you have again? I'll feed your corpse to this traitor! He will drown in your blood! Okay, so your threat to me is that you're going to turn me into a meal, gotcha. Also, you are damaged by beasts, so you know what that means! Damaged by beasts! Tells me one thing and one thing only, my man. Hello! Hope you're going to enjoy yourself, some grow! Okay, it doesn't look like you're going to be uh, able to put up much of a fight. Like, look at me. You're retreating already! Oh, we just started! We've just started, Mr. Trophy Hunter. What do you mean, Vlad? He's right in front of me. No. Where do you think you're going, asshole? Okay, it's a little awkward to shoot from top of a ground. Yeah, yeah, I'm catching him. Don't you worry about it. Oh. Yeah, you are retreating. We have noticed that already. So how about you have another arrow to your leg? Okay. God damn it, you're really not pinned for all that long. Okay, let's get off the ground because I'm far faster without it after all. Also, I will be able to stun him more. So, hello, my man. You are not doing all that well. Is it because I've set up a very excellent ambush to finish you off? Might just be. Might just be. All right, that is one war chief down. Pig is easy as the most intelligent to keep as pet, and yes, they are even smarter than dogs as cats. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that. But, okay, I guess the pigs are going to be the exception of that rule then for me personally. Probably shouldn't make it, I don't know. Pig is easy to most intelligent to keep as a pet as they are even smarter than dogs and cats. Okay, that's a surprise. That's a surprise then. So, alright, so with this mission being over, because I, I knew that pigs were smarter than dogs, but I've never heard that they are smarter than cats as well. But to be fair, I do have a little bit of a bias when it comes to cats, because I'm more of a cat person than a dog person. So, alrighty then, what do we have here? That is one war chief down. I guess the question with this fortress is, how many of their war chiefs can I actually get rid of before they start respawning? That is the question. I mean, one, one we can get rid of for sure, that's, that's not even a question. I guess we should probably try to do something about Ratak the Legend as well. He's all on his own. My aunt have one kind of pet, pig is stay small, medium sized pet. I was joking about how to cook it whenever I visit her home. <laughs> Look. I don't, li honestly speaking, feel free, if you and your aunt have that dynamic, Go for it. Personally speaking, I always do kind of find it a little disrespectful, and that is not to judge you as a person, don't take me wrong here, a little disrespectful to say stuff like that when someone has, for example, a spider pet, and someone online goes, oh my god, kill it with fire. It's like, come on, man. I know that spiders are not for everyone, and I personally don't like them either, but it's still someone else's pet there. <laughs> But maybe that's just me. It's just me. Maybe I'm just a little too sensible there. Uh, and sensitive there, not sensible. This is your end. Wait. Oh, Jesus Christ, where did you come from? Oh, I just want to fuck off right now. Oh, I'm always afraid, my man. You have actually figured that one out. My aunt get used to it, don't worry. Alright then. Alrighty then. 
Pigs are definitely some of the more intelligent animals out there. That's probably true. It's probably then because my, my I'm probably do have a bias because I have grown up eating pig after all. It is one of the most common animals to eat in Europe after all. Like it chickens and pigs, those are the big ones. Chickens I do consider to be one of the best, if not the best sort of uh, form of nutrition, if I'm completely honest with you. Because Luca. Ah, and we've got ourselves enough the spider dude again. Okay, that's gonna be an issue though, because he is kind of right Ahoy. next to the guy that I wanna take over. Oh, wait, I see an opportunity here. I see an opportunity here. We basically just need to be fast with our damage there. Ways, outsider. You sent a spy to infiltrate our ranks. I will find him and he will suffer. Okay, immune to execution. Good to know. Oh, did I literally just miss an Olaf at the two meter distance? Uh, at a two meter distance. I might have. Ow, ow, ow. Spider Bane! Oh no. I will be one with the spiders. They only ask one thing of me kill the talk. Okay, this is a bad situation right now. I don't want to take both of them on at once, if I'm completely honest with you. Like, both of them at once just seems like a bad time for me, personally. Can I, you know, just knock him over for now? Wait, no, that's not a knock over, that's a kill. God damn it, I needed this guy, man who gained my health back. I needed this man to gain my health back. Maybe, maybe I am like this in regards to these animals because I do have animals myself as pets that a lot of people consider pests and that being my eye support. Like, usually the first reaction whenever someone hears about me having eye support is something along the lines of, okay, I mean, I have them as well, I just don't own them as pets, they are just insects in my garden and stuff like that. Running like a scared pig, that is not a phrasing. I, I, I know that is not a phrasing. Nobody's ever run like a scared pig. Also, speaking of pigs, do you know what are they called in English? Let me wait. Uh, you know what? We're just doing it last day. I think that's probably going to be more effective. If you're oh, Jesus Christ, where did you come from? Really did not see you there, my man. Is this one of my last chances gone there, or was it something else entirely? Okay, how about... Um, okay, I see an issue here. I see an issue here. Okay, we definitely, we definitely need some support if we are to make it through this. Okay, there we go. This is the support that I've been looking for. Ah, yes. What do you think those little catagots of yours are going to do here? Grauk seems to be a one-size-fits-all solution for the time being, but if the Grauk helps me to get him down and then distract the other guy, it will have fulfilled his job. Can I summon the rest of my guys from up here? Yes, I can. Alright, Mr. Ghoul Hunter, please be a deer and help me keep the other guy in check for a moment. Okay, wait, I... Okay, that's a problem. I don't have arrows anymore. I only just now noticed. And this guy is immune to execution, so arrows are going to be my primary way of dealing damage to the man! Yeah, yeah, prepare yourself. I will, I will. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So where... Where's my Olaf? There he is. There he is. So can we just... There we go. Get you low enough. And get yourself a legendary Orlok follower. Isn't that nice? The little dude can understand simple commands and knows where it's feeding time, how much time a day. Pretty smart one, to be honest. That sounds pretty good. That does sound pretty good. I know, I've heard about a guy talk about a pig as a pet once, and he said stuff like, yeah, he got his potty trained within a singular week, which was already pretty impressive. So I'm just going to do a mite shot real quick. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's not my Katakur. Is that my... Oh, God, that's also not my Grauk. That is also not my Grauk. Nope, please get away from me. I thought that would be my Grauk, but apparently I was mistaken. Okay, and no, you are just going to join me real quick. Wait, we're not here. Oh, fuck. Something must have killed me. Where's, by the way, my bodyguard? Okay, my bodyguard is still sticking around, so that's something. No, 
Ai, ai, ai. Oh, and you're frostproof. Good to know. Good to know. No. Oh my god, this fucking crowd. Ai, ai, ai. For once, I have not actually summoned a Grog, it's just a wild Grog deciding to be an asshole. Very unhelpful of you. This dude really likes himself some bombs. Okay, so that's another character done. So, and... Oh, and there's ghouls as well. I think the ghouls have been summoned by my team. Oh, fuck, the spider stunned me and then the Grog hit me. Okay, this Grog is starting to become a real issue there. I can't dominate it because... Well, I guess I can dominate it. I just need to be safe from the other... Oh, the spider dude is summoning this... Okay, you know what? It does make perfect sense, the spider dude summon the spiders. Okay, Grauk, if you want to live, you best... No! Ah! I don't want to target a bloody fool! Jesus Christ. I just want the Grauk, my man. Oh, wait, is the Grauk getting back up? Nope, the Grauk is actually dead. Jesus Christ! Okay, my dude has hacked the Grauk into pieces. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, and the spiders are still on me. Oh, Jesus Christ, where did these things come from? Okay, I think both the enemy dude and my dude are capable of summoning more beasties, so that would probably explain the amount of chaos going on right now. I don't think I can really get out... Oh! Oh, come on, that's a very inopportune... There we go! Oh, ah, mm, get this fucking spider off me! Okay, that's good, that's good. Keep hitting the man. Keep hitting the man and hit him from behind. Oh! Enraged by mortal wound, aren't we all? No, 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 no. You don't. No, Papa. Yeah, just hack him to pieces. There we go. All right, we actually managed to pull through in this regard. There we go. Look off the spider's cloak. Oh, there are some really cute little pigs out there with some fur. I don't know what they are called. I guess you are referring to some kind of... What are they called again? Teacup pigs? The pigs that don't really grow up? Yeah, I think they are called teacup pigs. Teacup pigs are actually kind of tragic because a lot of the time people sell pigs that aren't actually teacup pigs as teacup pigs to people and then they grow up and people that don't want to have a big pig just abandon the pig somewhere and it's just fucked up in my opinion like if you get yourself an animal you are responsible in regards to that animal like you need to take care of that animal and if you don't want that animal anymore then at least rehome it find that find that thing some new place to live but don't just throw it out on the street to fend for yourself like this is cruel in one of two ways either the thing is just going to die a slow and agonizing death because it's not so used to surviving in the wild or the thing is actually going to survive and probably going to be a problem for the local ecosystem so under no circumstances ever just let an animal go somewhere and call it a day. Okay, so you are someone's bodyguard. I don't have that many guys who have infiltrated someone yet. So I think we are going to send a couple of infiltrators in. Damaged by fire. Do I have a dude with fire weapons in there somewhere? You have cursed weapons. You are my bodyguard. Nobody here has fire weapons, surprisingly enough. Wait, do you have fire weapon perhaps? Let's see. No, but I can give you a fire weapon. So you know what? You are going to get a fire weapon. The bodyguard has done his job pretty good. Oh, absolutely. My, my ghoul man over here, the ghoul keeper, has been an excellent asset. And he only got the job because our old bodyguard tried to kill us. Isn't that nice? <laughs> We love a happy ending story like that. Okay, so raise this followers level by five. There we go. Ghoul Karamade Gorja. Because I've decided you, my man, you are going to infiltrate the big boss. But before you infiltrate the big boss... Wait, are you epic already? Yeah, you are epic already. What is your epic trait? Epic Trapper. Throws multiple traps and near enemies, making them vulnerable to ranged weapons until they break free. I might replace that trait. No, you know what, let's save our money. Let's just see if we can get you in there to Al Saku the Mountain. 
little bit of an infiltration going on there. We're going to generally try to send a couple of our people into the fight pits for now. Alright, alright. Because we've got so many people just hanging around right now. They do need jobs to do, and we haven't done anything with the fight pits yet. I like the fight pits. Do you like the fight pits? Everybody likes the fight pits. Only problem with these fight pits, they are not all that close. So, we will have to run for a little bit. But since we can only bring four orcs into the siege anyway, we should probably also take a look at the siege in total to see which of the war chiefs actually contributes what exactly to the siege. And dependent on that, we may or may not kill a couple of them. I hate the fight pits, waste of time. You don't like my wrestling announcements in regards to the fight pit? I think they are funny. I don't know, I just enjoy that because the fight pits were kind of something that got done because they noticed that players were doing it in the original game anyway. And I always like it when a developer pays attention like that. Because in the original game a lot of players, including myself, literally just sent their guys in to see who would win and survive or against other orcs and had fun with that. And the animations were far cruder. So let's take a look at this. Also we should probably think about who takes which position there. Okay, so you are going to contribute, these stone walls have been strengthened. Okay, so we probably just want to go through the gates. Dark Trickster War Chief, gone the black. Clouds of Toxic Gas, okay. Army of Hunters who Jack Spear and are especially dead to beasts, annoying. Okay, the Cursed Siege Beast I might want to get rid of. The War Categories we have to think about. Okay, so yet let's take a look at whom do we want as our assault leader. I think because it is about time that we start thinking about these things. Zuka the Believer, Kof the Bloated, Snafu Skin Chewer. Hmm. Soon the Wreck. Has any or a single one of you really proven himself so far? Honestly, I think I might just send my bodyguard to lead the charge there, because Tugo Ghoulkeeper has done an excellent job so far, so I think he deserves this honor. Okay, so and we want either the Mount Olokai to take care of the Karagors, or we want the Sappers. What can we even get on the last slot there? Fiery archers ignite their arrows to rain fire on their targets. Archers can shoot targets at greater range. Archers ride Karagos, giving them increased mobility. Ooh, that sounds potent. Especially considering that our leader upgrades these things. Okay, so um, let's just remove all of these real quick. And re-add someone there. Let's re-add someone there. Who do we think is going to be the good leader? Takra the Flogger we definitely want in there, but I think he's actually going to take the second command after all. Kof the Bloated? Nah. You know what, I think it makes sense if Snafu the Skin Chewer takes care of the archers. And once again, as we've already established, Takra the Flogger actually gets the second command. I think that's only fair. Savage host, defender host, or hunter host. I'll have to think about that later. Then, in regards to first and fourth assault leader, we still have two open slots. I guess Dukes the Painted is pretty cool looking. So, might as well give Dukes the Painted in there. And last but not least, Zuka the Believer or Kof the Bloated. I think I actually want Zuka the Believer, because Kof the Bloated we might try to turn into an infiltrating unit. There we go, and that's basically how our assault force will look like. This unlocks Italian level 45. Honestly, we are not that far off that unlock then. So, a war grog. Once again, I really like the war grog. Ah, uh, do we want the wild drake? I really need to get rid of the one that does more with the siege beast. Uh, against siege beast though. Yeah, I think Ratak the Legend has to die, there's no way around that. Ratak the Legend has to die. So, Poisonous Siege Beats, Fiery Siege Beats... 
doesn't really matter all that much now, does it? I don't know, this, the different siege beats are always a little weird to me. Different siege beasts are always a little weird to me, but I guess you know what, let's take the Olokai with us, because yes, the Zappers will be more useful early on, but once we're in the fortress, the Olokai are going to do so much more. Okay, the attacking armies posted with defenders, maybe. I guess defenders would probably be good at fighting off the spear dudes. No, let's take the savage host. Let's hack our way through all of this. And last, these, this upgrade here depends entirely on what kind of weaknesses their leaders have. Yeah, you know what? Let's take the wild drake. I've never used the wild drake in the past. Cursed siege beast, poison siege beast, and fiery siege beast. Let's take a look at their details. Let's assume these guys are the ones who are going to be here. Beast fodder. Damaged by fire, okay? Damaged by fire, good to know. You, you, we want to kill anyway. And you are damaged by poison, okay? So that's one for one. And the last one here is damaged by none of the elements. Okay, so I guess we're just going to leave that upgrade for the time being. And we're going to go to the fight pits. We are going to go to the fight pits to get our extra guys in there somewhere. Also, also. Listen, how exactly do you think you're seeing me right now? I'm literally on the opposite side of a wall. Okay, there we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Wait, where's he gone to? Where's my intel dude gone to? Oh, there he is. I, I really got confused there for a moment. No, okay, stop with that. Stop it with that. Gee, okay, you know what? Forget about the Intel guy. I am done with the Intel guy. Officially done with the Intel guy. This is this is taking too much effort right now. Ooh, almost got me there, my man. You almost had me there. Congratulations. So, the hunters are just prowling around the place. And there we go. Okay, so we can heal up a little up there, which will be good. Because, you know, opa. In all honesty, right now we might just die to a stray arrow or axe. Which is never a good position to be in. Never a good position to be in. Also, also there's a monument over there, so we might as well crack that one open like it's an egg real quick. Oh, what a nice little monument. Would be a shame if something happened to it. There we go. Nupa. So the fight pit is right. Where exactly is the fight pit on this map? Like we're in the middle of the bloody fortress right now, aren't we? Oh god. Careful now, careful now. Oh, I think he hit me. Yeah, okay, the archer got me, so let's just not mess this one up. I think I'm actually too far away for the archer to finish the job. That's kind of funny. Okay, and there we go. Barely, but we still got there. Ah, Bubo the Small, I remember you. One of my guys actually managed to not kill you. I hope you dug a grave already. Show me what you got! Okay, none of their one-liners here really impressed me all that much. And I don't like the fact that my guy basically started out stunned because one of the arrows just... Hit. Oh, Jesus Christ! A single blow killed him... For, uh, oh, well, he didn't kill him, but got half his health done. Yeah, you know what? That's a pretty fast one. Ooh! And that's a pretty brutal finisher. Gotta love yourself an Olog finisher. There we go. All right, so you have infiltrated the enemy forces, which is nice, which is nice. I think we still have one more guy available to us here. Cough the bloated, yeah, cough the bloated, you are just not in this war at all. Did we actually send soon the wreck in? I don't think we did. Okay, what are uh, your weaknesses, by the way? Damage by fire, okay, so you, my dear sir, are actually going to get the privilege of getting Cough. fire weapons now. Cough the bloated, going go strong, there we go. And then, you Cough. know what, let's actually give him a couple more levels. Wait, we cannot give him more levels. Okay, then under those circumstances, Cough the bloated, good luck, you're on your own. You are on your own. Of course, I hope that you succeed, but if you don't, I won't care too much, if I'm completely honest with you. Like, let's be honest, it's Cough the Bloated. Will anyone here miss Cough the Bloated if he just 
dies in this attempt to infiltrate the enemy. I don't think so. That's why we have to fight people of the same weight range. Absolutely fair. You've oh damn. Lucky so far, and that luck is about to end. Come on now, step right up for a taste of pain. I mean, just looking Come at it, on. I would Down say that go. the enemy guy probably has the upper hand from the outset. Like, look at this guy. The guy has a Karagor, and he's also not half rerotted already. Like, you can say about Zook the bloated what you want, but the fact that half of his body is basically wasting oh, away already could be viewed as some form of disadvantage by several people. Also, the fact that he did not land a single decent hit yet. Yeah, this does not look too great for Kof the Bloated, if I'm completely honest. Like, look at this. Look at this. He tried. He's certainly trying. For some reason, the Dire Karakor has decided to fuck off. So, maybe, maybe Kof the Bloated will actually be able to pull this one off. But no, the Karakor is coming back. Oh, oh, he's broken his enemy. And the Karakor does not know what to do now that it's burning. Oh. Okay, okay, it's a pretty even match. Oh, and the enraged by mortal wounds. That's a bad one. That's a bad one. He will have to overcome that. No, and he did not. And he did not. Muzo the Heart Eater takes that victory. Poor man, poor man. So much for Kof the Bloated. Alrighty then. So, Muzo the Heart Eater. Hello and welcome. You are free to join my. Oh, no, ah. I wanted to say you're free to join my war effort, but now you are enraged, which is kind of obnoxious. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Okay, you do do decent damage. I'll give you that much. Oh, and I accidentally killed you. I really just wanted to knock you out of your enrage, but I guess that did not happen. That being said, we've got ourselves a sick new armor, so I'm not complaining too much. Honestly, I think it was worth sacrificing half the bloated there. He still got us a pretty easy new armor then. So I will miss the bloated. All of a sudden you will miss the bloated, huh? All of a sudden you will miss the bloated. Before this, it was always where's the bloated. Never how is the bloated. Could have. <laughs> Hello Kamikaze, nice to see you. Welcome to the chat. Okay, so you are an infiltrator already. These guys are basically just my war effort. Wait, am I missing guys right now? I feel like I'm missing guys right now. Okay, so still back to our actual objective now. Back to our actual objective now. We wanted to kill Ratak the Legend. Oh, right, and I will need a new bodyguard now. I did kind of miscount. Well, I guess I did not miscount. I guess Dukes the Painted or so can just be my bodyguard from here on out. It's either Dukes the Painted or... You know what? Looking around, it's basically only Dukes the Painted. Like, whom else would I ever take as a bodyguard here? Dukes. So, Dukes the Painted, congratulations, you've got yourself a promotion. I mean, look at the man. It's not accident. You're a revenger for your boy. Respect it. <laughs> so, um, wait here. Yeah, yeah, so, let's see. Can I level you up? Yes, but only ever so slightly that it's basically not worth it. Okay, so next target, we do want to take out Ratak the Legend before we start that assault. Everything else seems like it's palpable. basically alright, but I think them. Ratak the Legend should probably still die. I still want to know, does that mean that the other war chief is going to respawn or is to the limit before the war chiefs are going to respawn? I accidentally actually don't know. Would you look at that? Just by having cool tattoos, you can get a promotion. I mean, visuals are very important to get ahead in life. Everyone that says that they are only going to take what a look at your personality do? and Probably not how you look like is lying to your face, Eka. I'm sorry much. that you have to learn it like that, but that's more. just how the world works. That's just how the world works. And of course, you can have, you can prioritize how someone's personality is. But the visuals are always going to factor into the total, be it conscious or subconscious. These drakes are the backbone of the war chief's forces. Tear it out. <laughs> it's lucky I'm hot as fuck. There we go. That's the self-confidence I expect of you, Ecker. 
All right, let's get some drinks out, shall we? Let's have some fun with drinks. Who are you? How difficult it is to find a good blood brother. I'll have your head for this. Crow? Oh, Jesus Christ! That is ours. We take from city, and now we take from you. Okay, I guess we do have something to do before we actually start with the oh god, with the entire watchy situation. And um, hello, could you stop that, please? All right, all right. And um, let you are a growl catcher, aren't you? Let let's deal with that growl real quick and get my boys in. Oh no! Oh god, he got me again. He got me again. All right, time to prove what a good bodyguard you are. Oh wait. Okay, he actually saved me my last chance. So he's an excellent bodyguard already. He actually saved me my last chance. Why is everyone here enraged by mortal wounds? You know what? You just die. I need to deal with a lot of things here. So I don't have time to play around your mortal wounds right now. So, and Mr. Growcatcher. So far, you have not really done much. But you still have an opportunity in my army perhaps there we go there we go congratulations because i actually could use a couple more ground so how about you join the war effort ah would you look at that just oh wait there's it. only grandpa grandma actually looks at my personality <laughs> oh no oh no oh it really censored that fuck you can disable the sensor stuff like once again that's on your end we, I on my end, don't see anything Santa, so you can just fuck off for the time being. I'm with you. No Shrek, you killed Shrek! Look, look, would I have preferred to not kill Shrek? Of course I would have preferred to not kill Shrek, but as it turns out... So my bodyguard can fuck right off, by the way. Oh. My bodyguard has actually earned himself some stripes there, like, honestly speaking, the fact that my bodyguard managed to take care of the situation and even save me my last chance was quite impressive, so well done, painted one, well done, painted one, I would say. Okay, but now back to our actual objective, how about that? Where are these drakes that I've heard about? If these guys had just waited like a moment longer with their ambush, like until I've actually entered the city, they would have had such an easier job of actually taking me on. Wait, there we go, you are going to join the war effort, congratulations. We will get so many other Shreks, don't you worry. You know how much I prioritize Olox over everything else. If the guy wasn't enraged by mortal wounds, I would have so gone for him, trust me. But enraged by mortal wounds with the savage dude still around was just too much to take care of. You don't remember the name of the painted one, do you? You can only for it look. You care only for it look. I guess you caught me there. What is his name? Let's take a look. What is his actual name? I know that he's called the Painted, I always remember their titles, but their actual names, Dukes, Dukes the Painted, there we go. What is my audible? Tugok, Ghoul Keeper. I mean, in my defense, the game oftentimes, oh, like, oftentimes, always just refers to them by their other name as well, so there we go. Hello and welcome back to the world, my Drake friend. And there we go! Let's have some fun, everybody! Let's have some fun, everybody! So kill enemies while still mounted! Ooh, yes! Look at that sweeping across the land! Fire! Hellfire! Now, Uruk, it's your turn! Join me or the pyre! Be mine or you will burn! God have mercy on them, God have mercy on me, but they will be mine, or they will burn. Hellfire is probably my favorite Disney song. Ah, look at that. Look at that, look at that fire! Mm. God, I love riding drakes. So, where's the other drake, by the way? 
over there somewhere. Can I just free him by... There we go. Hello, Ratak the Legend. What did you think of Drakes again? I, I don't remember. I don't those Drakes. They'll have my head for it. Unless I show them yours instead. So there. I don't... Is the other Drake going to attack me while I'm still mid-air? I don't think so. Can he actually fly faster? There we go. I do want to remind Rata. myself. I Oh, damaged by fire, my man. Ooh, ooh, you've chosen a very inopportune situation to be in then. Mm, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't really see much of that damage by fire right now, if I'm completely honest. Can I, you know, fireball? Does that do more? Nope. Right now, this guy is literally not taking any damage. I don't know what to say. All right, so much for that. Beastful frenzy. Oh, okay. I see how it is. No, papa. Is that doing a little more to you then? Ah, no, it does not look like it. Hey. Hello. clean up crew. Cause this is about to get bloody. Is it now? Well, but oh, Jesus Christ, you're fast. I'll give you that much for a fact. You are a fast boy. So do it now. Have to. There, there we go. Oh, wait, you should be weak to that, shouldn't you? Why are you not weak to that? No fear, no mercy, and for you, no hope. You say that, but you still take decent damage there. That being said, there are far too many hunters around right now. Jesus Christ, a frenzied hunter is so dangerous in this. Like, look at how fast he's shooting. Okay, we need to get out of here for a moment. I need to recuperate my strength real quick. Okay, so once again, what have we learned about the man so far? Don't use beasts to attack him. Hey, there we go. How are my little... Oh, no. How are my little health packs doing? Oh, no, I think that's the wild drake, isn't it? Yep, that's the wild drake. I'm out. Okay, now back to my... Jesus Christ. Okay, I see now that there are hunters on basically all the roofs. Ow, ow, ow. That could explain why my health pool was going down so goddamn fast. There we go. You're all going to join me. Where's the simulation game? This is the simulation. It is simulating me building an army in Mordor. <laughs> you want simulation? Just you wait for PAL World. You will see what I would do if I actually had a lot of options in the world of Pokemon. Okay, so my guys are shooting from up there. You know what? You are going to join me because you might still enrage the other guys, but it will still help us to get rid of at least all of his extra archers there. There we go. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of orcs. That's a lot of orcs. Come on now, come on now. Haven't got all day. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get all of this cleaned up. Okay, are there any more orcs alive? Yes, yes, there are, Jesus Christ, there are still a bunch of orcs alive, actually. And can the Drake take care of that one of his, on his own accord? You know what, I have a fireball, and I'll leave the rest to the Drake for now. And boom! More guy flies! So there we go, my man! Hello again! It looks like you've healed in the meantime. There we go, there's that fear of pinning, I remember. Oh, come on. You stop it with the bloody... Ah! Okay, are they running away already? I don't know. Stop shooting my Drake. Stop shooting my Drake. I still need that Drake for reasons. And shoot the foot again! I just can't afford for you to adapt to this. So I do need to be weak about it. Hello again. And oh, there we go, another day. Oh yeah, we are efficient about this today. But let's not rest on our laurels just yet. Let's not rest on, oh my god, on our laurels just yet. Ah, there we go, there's the adaption I was afraid of. Oh fuck! Oh, and you have adapted to that one as... Mm. 
Oh! Oh my god, we've got a bloody counter here. Oh, I think he's got distracted. I think he got distracted. Okay, that's actually good for us. Okay, where's the other archer? Because someone there was still shooting me. He's enraged, which is a problem, but not for my beloved bodyguard. Let's get Hey, you kind of forgot where I was, didn't you? Come on, just die. There we go. You're making a big mistake, Ranger. The Urux will be avenged. Oh, do you actually not have a second chance? Apparently not. This is a guy that actually doesn't have a second chance for one. Very surprising considering how high level he was. But Ratak the Legend has been defeated. There we go. There's the host gone. Kill enemies while mounted on a drake. There we go. So, and now let's take a look at if this actually got rid of another warship or if we've got another stranger in now. Nope, looks like we are actually allowed to kill two warships right away. Nice! Okay, I think then it is now time to actually storm the bloody castle. Because we've basically disabled the two strongest warships and our army is ready to go, I would say. So, time for some action. Would burning orc smell like roasted pig? I mean, I would assume that it smells like burning homeless people, because I don't think orcs ever wash. Not gonna lie, I would like to try orc meat. I mean, it's not quite cannibalistic, because they might be humanoids, but they are not exactly humans, but I still think you are kind of entering the gray territory in regards to moral complexities there. We have washing simulator now, but Seisha refuses to stream it. Wait, did you actually send me that thing already? Because in all honesty, I have not received anything. I'm not, I'm not fucking with you there. I thought you said, okay, you're only going to send it later then. But, I, and, because you wanted to send it for the birthday. But I have actually not received anything. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's just go through this. We have a total... You are... Wait, where's my bodyguard? That's my bodyguard. And what are you doing? Oh, that guy was your blood brother. Gotcha. Um, okay, so we've got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 free orcs. 7 free orcs. Okay, okay. That's not many. That's actually quite a decent amount of free orcs. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, only 6 free orcs. My bad, my bad. Under those circumstances, I should probably try to turn one of them in into another follower for some one of you. Like, let's take a look at you. You're a soft target and damaged by poison. And you have a poison weapon, don't you? But I don't really want to waste Takra the Vlogger like that. Hmm. You already have a treacherous bodyguard. I don't think you need more than one. Your damage is... You're weak to poison. You know what we are going to give was Nafu the skin chewer poison. How about that? Congratulations, Snafu. You've actually earned yourself a new little weapon there. Oh, we don't have cash. That's the problem. I sent you a key to your phone weeks ago when I said I'd do so on the stream back then. Oh, another key probably won't work anymore. I don't think keys actually run out of power actually, uh, like that. Like, I've never heard of keys getting deactivated over time. Why did you send it to me over the phone, by the way? But, okay, I will, I will look through our messages after the stream's over. Okay, so first things first, though, we do need to actually crush some gear to actually get all the upgrades. Ooh, and we actually have a far better sword now. As always, with the swords, we are going to keep the second best sword as well, just in case anything decides to crush it. But other than that, we are going to gear up for war. We are going to be ready to tear down these walls, Mr. Gorbachev. Wait, what do you mean cannot upgrade? I just want to destroy it. Okay, apparently I can also not destroy it when I can't upgrade it. There we go, there we go. All right, that's all the swords done. Um, and when it comes to the daggers, there we go, there we go. There's a lot of daggers to crush. 
You just sent it again, okay. You know what, I'm going to take a look at that key real quick then. Um, ba -ba -ba, telegram. And I'm going to take care of that real quick. So, Steam, just to make sure that everything is still in order. So, games, add a non-Steam, wait, no, activate a game, redeem a Steam wallet code, no. Activate a product on Steam, there we go. Next, yada yada. I agree. So, there we go, just give me one second. There shouldn't be anything on screen for you right now, but that should change in a moment. I'm not going to read the code out aloud for, well, obvious reasons, but... Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, and HMM. There we go. So that should activate the key with Steam, Power Wash Simulator finished. And no, we do not wish to install it right now, but it is added to our library. So don't you worry, code was still good. And there we go. So I guess we are going to do a Power Wash Simulator stream. Uh, yeah in the near future. I don't know for which reason exactly we're going to do a power wash simulator stream, but we are going to do a power wash simulator stream. I did not find you in Steam. That's surprising, honestly. I mean, I can try to add you later on. Wait, do you even have a Steam now that I think about it? I mean, you must have a Steam because you borrowed the Doctor's Steam Deck, didn't you? So, oh my god, there we go. Of course, yeah, there we go. Okay, then I'll try to add you on Steam later. And destroy. There's so much gear to crush. I kind of wish there was a faster way to just mass destroy gear like that. Because it is a little annoying to go through all of that like that after a while. I guess the game in the intends for you to keep it more upgraded most of the time. But... Well, rather than more upgraded, and rather you keeps in... Uh, okay, try again. I think the game... Oh, god damn it! I just upgraded this thing by accident. Fucking hell. Okay, so let's try again. I think the game kind of expects you to keep crushing your gear whenever you get it and don't want it. But, nah, nah. I'm going to keep actually two of those cloaks. I don't know, I just don't want to stop every two steps because I've picked up a new gear item. You have all the steam, ah yes. You have so much steam that they accidentally call you steampunk from time to time. No, don't upgrade that shit. I just want to destroy. I just want to destroy. Destruction is all I care about in this life. I do rarely ever get a ring, don't I? I so far I haven't gotten a single legendary ring. Okay, so we've got as much cash as is humanly possible. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So that leaves us with... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What kind of mission start is right next to us? Okay, does not matter. Does not matter. We wanted to have someone infiltrate the free guy. That is him. And I think he was weak to poison, if I remember correctly. Yes. So you, my dear sir, Snafu Skin Chewer, Snafu. are not only going to get a poison weapon, and considering that you are just Snafu the Skin Chewer, Snafu. I am going to give you a couple of other things as well. Not a dire character, actually. I'm going to give you an elite gang. I think elite gang sounds like fun. I think an elite gang could be a lot of fun. We're probably overexerting our resources there on a guy Snafu. called Snafu Skin Chewer. But you know what? You know what? Sometimes you just gotta invest. Sometimes you just gotta invest in your troops. Also, also I've only just now Snafu. noticed that this guy is wearing a... Not bracelet. What's the word I'm looking for? Necklace. There we go. This guy is wearing a necklace made of bloody ears. I don't know how to feel about that. So, and you can still have a mount. There we go. Alright, that makes you actually prepared for the job I've gotten for you. Pretty sure this guy will be able to just take on the man. Wait, no. I actually can cancel out on the mission. You have to kill a no-name, but we've upgraded Snafu Kin Skin to a decently Flash enough. Dish. Then you, my man. Oh my god. Why does everything here cost so much? I guess I can still at least give you a category. 
You don't even have an elemental weapon yet. You know what, we don't have that many guys with cursed weapons, so might as well give you a cursed bone over there. I don't know where you exactly got a cursed bone from, but sure, sure. And I don't think there's ever not a reason to give an orc a category, other than the cost, of course. Okay, the bone with curse kind of just looks like it's molding, if I'm completely honest with you. Okay, so I think the rest of them is basically ready to go. Crush of the eye. Oh wait, you are a spy already. Hey, and they're both blood brothers! We've got a couple of blood brothers on our side. Isn't that cute? Wait, why can I not command you? Okay, does not matter, does not matter. We have sent out our one guy on a mission. What kind of quest is that right next to us? Does not matter. You just need to succeed on this one infiltration mission here and we will be ready for war. Oh, we will so be ready for war. You can't even begin to believe how ready we are going to be for this war. Like, granted, we are not as prepared as we were in Saragost, but to be fair, Saragost was such a huge problem for us. The amount of preparation that took for us was insane. Alright, Snafuk Skin Chewer, you are the last piece that needs to fall in position. So, please, don't fuck it up. Hey, here's the Redback Armor. My boy's worse in my bark. I'll buy you right off. Another maggot! Perfect! Alright, so your elite gang is like, Jesus Christ! This will turn you into paste. He exploded the man of his Karagor, what the hell? Okay, your gang of elite followers is so far not all that impressive. I mean, one of them got to the spear thrower, so that's something. But overall, your guys haven't done too much. I am surprised that the Karagor is still alive. Okay. I'll take that back. <laughs> I guess it survived with a couple of hit points, but still, there was quite a gnarly explosion there. Okay, to be fair, the elite followers are throwing him down quite frequently. The problem is, nobody's taking care of his archers, so they are basically just free to do whatever they please. Okay, you know what? That was a good shot. That was a good shot. If our guy actually decides to shoot for once, that's pretty good. And now he decides to just bludgeon him to death with a crossbow. Not really the best use of a crossbow if you ask me, but I guess, guess the success makes it right after all. Alrighty then, and that's it. We are ready. We are ready for war. The castle has been infiltrated and now it is time to take over Gorgoroth. But before we start this, I will be gone for a minute and uh, well a minute a second we are just going to have a quick little toilet break here wait no i actually don't need that message anymore it's just going to be a quick little toilet break so if any of you need to go to the toilet now's your chance all right and we are back we are back there we go did you miss me <laughs> so all right time for the mission time for the big grand mission Time for war. And once this is over, there's not really... Like, we've gotten all of the magic countries we need to get in regards to the story then, once we've conquered this region here. But we're still going to take over the desert before we progress with the story. Just because the desert is optional does not mean we are not going to do it. Also, so where the hell is the mission that I'm looking for? I just want to take on the Overlord. There we go. Capture Gashgore. What kind of name is it? Oh wait, I'm look I am running in the wrong direction. That would explain a couple of things. Nope. You are not going to hit me today. You are not going to hit me today. There are very few ambushes and shit like that going on now that I've dominated most of the land. And to make it official, we are going to take over this fortress. I just have a little bit of a look around right now. I'm basically like someone who's interested to buy or rent the place, who's trying to take a look at it before he makes a final decision if he really wants to spend big money on the place. In this case, big money being an army. A delicious army. Oh. Did the guy down there see me? 
No, he's not running away panicked yet. There we go, and we're going to make some intel. I don't think I need intel on anyone here. Like, did any of you do anything here? I guess we can uncover you. I mean, I knew a guy called Bubor, but I think that's just an entirely different Bubor now. Because the Bubor that I knew looked very different. So you can just fuck right off. There we go. And there's another worm up there somewhere. Have you gotten something now? I would be... Oh, could you please just let me up there, game? Thank you very much. Okay, the game still does not know how to get me up there. <laughs> so, not too many Oroks still around. Ooh, last do Taskmaster. You kind of look very similar to our War Chief here. Uh, the Overlord here. Like, look at this guy. Okay, wait, I will need to go to the army screen for the actual comparison. Look at this guy. Wait, yeah, god damn it, don't mark the target there. Yeah. Look at this guy, Asaku the Mountain. Okay, look at his armor, look at his face, look at everything there. Now, look at this guy. He's basically just a color swap of the other guy. Instead of gray armor and red skin, he has red armor and gray skin, but other than that, they are basically twins. Kind of funny. Kind of funny. Alright then, um, so... Let's finally get out of here. Let's get out of here and let's get on with our grand mission, our glorious design. It's been a while since we had a siege. It's been a while since we had a siege. So I guess it is finally time. Okay, looks like we actually have to re-equip a lot of stuff here. So, um, where's my big boy? Where is my big boy? You, my man. You are going to be the assault leader. There we go. And you are going to be the second in command, the attacker. Leaving us with number three. Who is number three again? Dukes the Painted. Wait, that's my bodyguard right now. I cannot send my bodyguard there. But Hoosh Grish Grau Catcher. Yeah, you know what? You you are going to work out just fine. Yes, yeah, see, Horse Chris is going to bring a Grauk for me, isn't that nice of him? Leaving us with but one assault slot. Wait, you are already an assault leader. Wait, are you in there? Yeah, I think they are all in there. Leaving us with but one Zunderak. And there we go. So the only thing that we still need is a Siege Beast. And I guess it depends on what you guys are weak to, what we are bringing here. You are weak to fire, good to know. You are weak to poison, alright. So once again, they're still going... And this is the guy that's not weak to anything. So I guess we can just bring whatever siege beast, as long as it's not the poor cursed one. Let's bring the poisonous siege beast, because generally speaking, I think the poisonous ones are a little more effective. But maybe that's just my gut feeling. Maybe that's just my gut feeling. All right. That being said, time to start the siege. That's actually going to be my first interaction with the overlord of this region. This is the first region where I don't have long-standing history with the regional overlord. Which is kind of weird. Like, I don't even know this man. This is not personal at all. It's just business for the two of us. This man comes here thinking he can take us because he took cargo core. A cat can slaughter a mouse, but it cannot slaughter a Moomakil. Our walls and towers rise high into the sky. And as every inch of flesh is flayed from your body, Every limb pulled out of joint, every bone broken. Your scream shall rise even higher. The boys are ready, more than ready. Don't listen to that maggot. His fault will soon be ours. 
Alrighty then, everybody. What the hell does Harry mean? Alright, so you know the drill by now. First things first, we have to take these things out. There we go. And you know what? Ah, might as well just blow everything up down there. And just hope that we can get past all of these little issues. Oh. Oh, and I think the first betrayal is happening. There we go! Oh god. This betrayal doesn't seem to be going too well. Like, you managed to smack the ass of the Karagor and then got eaten by it. Is that what happened? Because I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Hey, uh, okay, you know what? Let's just get a. Oh, Jesus Christ. That one hurt. That one hurt. But, okay. Oh, and go on the black. You are in. To this. There we go. Is there anyone else in here that... Okay, there are a couple of enemies in there. Noise. So I am just going to heal up real quick. And then time to Captain. Oh, right! We brought the Drake this time around. Oh, Jesus Christ. How about we actually capitalize on the fact that we brought the Drake and not just let it run amok? There we go. Hello! Hey, crush of the eye, let's go. See, that's a far better betrayal. Like, still a little rough around the actors. You're not quite as worse in betrayal as Ranger Killer was, but I guess everyone has to start somewhere. N not everyone can be at the same level of pro that Ranger Killer was. Also, Jesus Christ, a couple of my guys are falling. So please get them up. I still need my boys. Look how they massacred my boys. There we go. Oh, and someone is broken. Can't, no, wrong one. How about you join the war effort as well, my man? Hello, I have no idea who exactly you are, but you are going to work for me from here now. There we go. Stay and fight for me. And I know oh, another one of my boys is currently beating again. As soon as. There we go. Now we can work. Now we can work on this. Which can... Oh, right! That was my Urlok that betrayed him. I was like, wait, I brought an Urlok captain? Because I couldn't remember any Urlok captain. But, yep, I brought an Urlok captain. In a sense. All right, look at this army charging. Jesus Christ, that's so many strong guys. Where's my Drake, by the way? Ah, over there. You know what, I think we're just going to leave the Drake to his own devices. He can just burn people to a crisp wherever he pleases. And a couple of my guys are fighting over there and bleeding over there. Hello! Hey, and there's yet another betrayal. Isn't that nice? Okay, one of my boys is in deep trouble. Oh, no. oh it's my second in command. Oh, geez. Right. Okay, sorry about that, but I will have to... Oh, hello. Okay, I guess that solves the issue. Can I just take over the point and then be free to... Yeah, there we go. Because I think once they run away, it will be so much easier to get my boy back up. There we go, there we go. Jesus Christ, that was a close one. It was too close for comfort, if I'm completely honest with you. But still pretty good. Uh, no, I, I need... Do we have some random grunts somewhere around here? I kind of need something to suck dry. Like, I don't really care what exactly it is, be it a rat, an orc. If it is an orc, doesn't matter which side he's on. I just need someone to suck dry. Like, yeah, there, for example. There, let's take a couple of those lovely ghouls you've summoned. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for those ghouls. They are appreciated. So, there we go. Alright, the dragon is still causing chaos and looks like the last point has fallen as well. So, ah, get down there, get down there, we still need a capture. Hello and welcome! That was pretty easy, that was a pretty swift success. And now that you are back to the living, we've actually managed to get through the entire fort with more of an army than we started it with, which is kind of impressive if I do say so myself. Oh wait, there's still an inner victory point, oh damn. 
Okay, I did not even realize that. I kind of thought we were at the Overlord Keep already. So I guess we are not quite as done as I thought we were. Ooh, the poison, the poison! The poison might become a key issue there. Oh god. Okay, yeah, I see the problem. I see the problem now. Okay, oh shit. Oh shit, that's bad. That's so bad. Get up! Get up! Okay, can I even get all of them up in time? All of them? Probably not. I'm just going to try to get as many as possible. Ay, 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 but whoever is all the way back there is probably dead by now. I'm very sorry, my dear friends. Oh, it's Growcatcher. Okay, I mean, it's not one of my main boys, but still, losing Growcatcher is a little bit of a shame. The good thing is, in Growcatcher's honor, we shall capture the last victory point. There we go. Oh, who is bleeding out now? No, I don't... Get the man up, get the man up, there we go. You lost the bloated since then I don't care about any of the others. Why do you care so much about the bloated? You did never mention any favor you had for the bloated to begin with. Also, also, I don't, I think we should get our health back if we enter the keep. So I'm not going to run around, let's use this as a little bit of a chance to test it out. Hello, Wolverlord, it's been a while. Well, I mean, we haven't really spoken to one another before today, but sure, hello! Danger! Let us for a moment entertain the fantasy that you do capture this fortress. There are countless thousands of orcs in Mordor, and every one of them will come for you. Good. I will need a larger army to take Barad-dûr. Oh, that's a good answer. That's such a good, sexy answer. Look how pissed off he is. He was like, oh my god, I was so ready to break this guy's spirit. And then this fucker just said something like that. How dare, how dare he. Miss me. Okay, first things first, we are going to take over the archers up there, because why the hell wouldn't I? Always take over the archers first, there we go. And there's always another archer over the sidelines. I don't, okay, you know what, I'm just going to teleport, no. There we go, hello! Peak naming, peak naming indeed, oh my god, they actually put down Betrays Overlord, there we go. <laughs> Alright, oh my god, the Overlord is already half dead. I mean, I didn't have a long-standing history with that Overlord, but... Kind of a shame to see an Overlord go down like a little bitch, isn't it? You're not even immune to arrows. You're not even immune to arrows. Oh. Oh, and you're even frozen, so I don't know what you expect here to have. Mappa! You can swing the giant club around. See if it helps you in any way, shape or form. But as it stands right now, you are nothing to me. Oh, okay, you know what? That guy got me. That guy got me. Oh, and I see you are doing the pro thing. I love that you can do the pro thing, but I wish you wouldn't do it right now. I'm just going to grab a couple of arrows and really hammer my victory home. It's one of my... Oh, no, 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 no. No banner. No bloody banner. I've had enough of banners in a lifetime. Also, also, you can fuck off right as well. My bow being able to freeze him is nice. Oh, and those are my blokes. Those are my... Oh, Jesus Christ, that hit hurt. And there he goes. That is Gorgoroth taken care of. For us, we have taken his fortresses and made them our own. Now we stand at the very edge of history. 
Only one conquest remains, and Mordor will be ours! And there we go, that is got a uh, Gorgoroth done. Honestly, Gorgoroth was probably the one that I've taken over the easiest. Like, that pretty much was just painting by numbers at this point. OMG, you finished the game. Not really, no, not really yet. <laughs> Even if I had finished the game, we would still have a couple of other things left to do here. Okay, why the fuck is this guy... Oh, he's there because he was already an overlord. I mean, you guys know the drill. I mean, we can have a little bit of a look around in regards to who is worthy and how and why. But I think Tugo Ghoulkeeper led the charge there and he kind of deserves to be the one who is going to be put in charge. <sighs> Oh, by the way, Bellatrix, did you hear any more crackling anymore? I'm curious. And War Chiefs promoted. There we go. Although I do want other War Chiefs in this region. I do want other War Chiefs, like the one the game just suggested to me. Um, which of these guys do I want to watch? If Takara the Flogger, probably. And yeah, you know what? Dukes. You are going to be an, uh, my war chief. Dukes the Painted. Like, ah, cool, blood ligger, you're cute, but you're not Dukes the Painted. No phone cracking, no. It might actually be that shitty iPhone then. That was gone as soon as you removed the phone last time. So this time as well, I think we can say for sure that it's the fault of the bloody iPhone then. Okay, the good thing about that is we have actually determined then what it was. Ooh. Do we want to have Ur Kalama the Gorger as champion? Like, I really want Takra the Flogger as a war chief, if I'm completely honest with you. Takra. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with Ur Kalama, if I'm completely honest with you. Maybe I'm going to leave Ur... You know what? You know what? Ur Kalama, I've changed my mind. Ur you actually can have a war chief position. There we go. Reposition. And paint that you are going to be remain as my bodyguard. You've done a pretty good job at being my bodyguard so far. Never change a winning system. T uh, system. Never change. Wait, no. Never change a running system. Never change a Dude. winning team. There we go. And there we go. Pretty good. I do wonder. Can we Dude. somehow upgrade this fortress to have more slots, or do you always only have two war chief slots once you've conquered the fortress? Because I honestly do not know. Well, whatever it is. We have actually gained a couple of things there, like we've gained a lot of extra gear. Maybe I should just destroy that gear right away, now that we know that we might want to do that. Uh, not really interested in these here. Oh, that is... Okay, you are a level higher bow. How the fuck are you a slightly worse bow? No fuck off. And that blade is also basically just worse okay and sword close you're so close to being decent but alas you are not therefore you can fuck right off and that's all the new gear we've picked up so i think that's also a skill point available to us right now there we go i mean we have extra skills for most of our abilities by now Three daggers can be thrown by rapidly pressing tab, throw daggers five at once to hit multiple enemies. I guess that could be useful for crowd control purposes. What can we even do with the glaive now that I think about? Double charge a glaive for more follow-up attacks. The wax by repeatedly charging. Release the axe the moment your glaive is charged and it's might for each enemy hit. When Elven Rage ends, a fiery blast is detonated. I don't think I've ever used that ability yet, haven't I? When leaping, the double jump allows you to cover wider gaps or change direction between jumps. Ooh. 
While vaulting an enemy to leap off the head to perform a double jump. If Bird of Prey is unlocked, you'll be able to enter Bird of Prey as you jump. Kind of fun, but also kind of useless, if we're completely honest there. Oh, vaulting immediately freezes. You know what? I will take that. I will take that. Okay, who the fuck is hammering there? Oh god. Alright, I guess there is some form of construction going on. Just going to hope that it's going not going to last for all that long. Oh, something's going on in the fight pits apparently. Online oh no, those are the online fight pits. Nope, 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 nope. We are not going to go into the tryhard pits. Hey, and there's the former war chief going around the place. Alrighty then, let's take a look at actual story missions or uh, the stuff like that, what we can do. Available the Bright Lord in Gorgorov. Okay, that is something we could do. Or we start working on this region over there with Nazu the Unstoppable. I think, how much time do we still have left here? We still have got roughly one to one and a half hours left in today's stream. Maybe even two hours if we feel like it. So that is something we could do. We could also take a couple of vengeance missions on somewhere else. But I think for the time being it would be a good idea to see what awaits us now. I probably shouldn't progress too much farther in the story though. You know what, no, we are going to the desert. We are going to the desert and we are going to have some fun in the desert. We are going to hold all the regions. All of Mordor will belong to us. Ered Glamhof. Ered Glamhof is a mountain range in Mordor lies to the east of Mernan. I think there's literally only the tower mission there. That's why they put the little picture of the tower over there. Because otherwise nobody would have any idea what the fuck's going on. What the hell added Glamrov is. Alright, desert time. I do actually not know much about this region at all. Like, we've been there for a couple of minutes in one of the missions. But other than that, this is one of the areas that got only added via one of the DLCs. So... This is basically just us having fun right now and taking on a couple of missions and so on and so forth. So, 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 so. As always, we do need an army because as of right now, we have nothing here. We have literally nobody here. Nasu the Unstoppable, what do we know about you? Terrified of curse, okay, so starting off with a mortal weakness, usually not the best for a war chief. What am I doing here? It kind of puts me in the middle of nowhere. All the other ones have more ruins than this, but this is just... This is just nothing. What do we have here? Tribal Showdown Slaughter. A Captain on Slaughter is sleeping in a worthy opponent. Okay, let's see if he's gonna be a worthy bodyguard. More okay. meat for the rats! Thanks, Tark! <laughs> I mean, you're an epic dude, but... Oh, what are you doing there? Looks like you tried to wind up something, but... I am not too convinced by what I'm seeing of you right now, to be completely honest with you. Ah, immune to execution. Okay, okay. I see now that I am going to take care of... Wait! Enraged by frost. Ah, yeah, okay. This will make mounting over you far more annoying. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, there's a lot of shots going on here. And, okay, we do have last chance. We do have last chance here. How about you don't... Oh, why... Oh, right, my arrow has a chance to do frost stuff as well. I forgot. And there we go. How about we get some of our health back? Yes, I know, enraged by frost. Oh, all right, and we can't execute you. Noppa! Oh, but, ah! Okay, I basically can't ever move off him because otherwise this guy's just shooting too fast! How about we get the crowd there? And you are going to join the war effort as well. And how about you fuck right off? Are you rolling? I think you're combat rolling. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, wait. What exactly hit me there right now? I mean, he is going to end me, that's for sure. 
But I have no idea how exactly he hit me there, if I'm completely honest with you. The Dark Lord will be pleased by this. Will he now? I mean, to be fair, you did kill me. So how many levels do you get out of this? You're starting at level 47. Oh my god, the hammering has started again. How nice, how nice. 54, okay. It's so weird to finally have a map again where I basically have no idea what's going on most of the time because I haven't unlocked all the Uruks yet. We have been on the other maps I'll for so long. Perhaps we should stop dying then. But it is kind of unusual. I mean, I guess I should probably look for a couple of worms first. But how does one even start looking for a couple of worms? Other than just randomly running around the world. Is there a Grauk down here? I mean, there's definitely a Grauk down there somewhere. I just cannot see it. Okay, you know what? I do know that there's a lot of stuff still left. And this region might be a little tough to conquer yet. Because if we are actually going to be out leveled, it will be hard to raise an army. So how about we just do the right lot? Because I was kind of afraid that we might be outscaled here, totally speaking. Because I... Uh, uh, outscaled. I was afraid we might be getting, be getting close to the end. But then I remembered we still have the entire Bruce storyline ahead of us. So we could probably just do this... Wait, is this a Bruce quest? Okay, there's actually a lot of story missions here still. Or is it just this one story mission? I thought there was a Bright Lord mission somewhere around here, but apparently I was mistaken. Apparently I was mistaken. Oh well, does not matter, does not matter. We are just going to take all on this quest and... Ah! Eltario should be nearby. I do not doubt it for a moment. Also there's still... Hey, there's the symbol. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys just take care of this. I will just look at this wall for a moment. Oh yes, beautiful wall. Oh my god, there's so many worms in this region. Why are there so many worms around here where I don't need them? Like, what exactly do you expect me to still find out with worms here? Like, let's take this worm, for example. Let's take this worm, for example. I mean, okay, there is a couple of new guys. Who are you, for example? Orkboor the Screamer. Yeah, you definitely look like a Screamer, if I'm completely honest. He does have that Screamer smile, if you know what I'm saying. And there is one more Intel dude up there. We might as well know everything about every last one of the Orcs here. Do you drop your stuff when I take you over, or do you say that no, no, no? Yeah, yeah, the Tark, the Tark. But the Tark just wants to know what's on your papers here. And you are fighting Hawk the Fearful. Oh wow, what a name. A streamer? A streamer, or <laughs> Look, my man. St streaming is so popular these days, I'm more surprised when someone doesn't do it than when they do it, okay? <laughs> hey, oh! Okay, do I have enough time to get over there real quick before your pinning gets undone? Probably not. No, I actually do. Nice. And who are you? Maku the Brewer. Okay, so we've basically learned about almost all the new orcs and none of them impress me much right now. For the most part, because none of them are Orlocks. That being said, we are getting rather close to the level where we can actually get a Necromancer for ourselves. Like the problem- Oh! Over there is the mission we were looking for. Wait. Where exactly- Oh, that's all the way down there. Oh, wait, we could actually just start the final mission from here on out? No, I vaguely remember something about this. There's still gameplay after this very mission. I just don't quite remember the order of events, so... That being said, we should probably take care of the other quest first because of that. Also, where the fuck is the Bruce questline then? 
Like we haven't seen Bruce in ages. Oh! Oh damn, that's a visual. Shouldn't you play the DLC before the ending? Ah, the DLC is actually completely separate from the main game. The DLC is two short campaigns, one of them featuring the elven girl and the other one featuring the blackmail guy from Minas Ephil. So the DLC isn't anything that I need to worry about right now. Unless you of course talk about the other region, because that's the thing that I do worry about. Although I'm more curious about where the fuck the Bruce storyline is right now. Like somewhere in here is the Bruce storyline, I just don't know where. Well, whatever it is, we are going to take care of the Altariel quest right now. We are just going to take care of the Altariel quest right now. Maybe once we've done that quest, the Bruce quests will start to pop up again. But it is kind of weird that we haven't heard from Bruce in like forever. Reach Altariel. Ah yes, what a good start to a quest. Like, most of these captains over here belong to me already. Oh my god, why did you get to capture my captains? Every time I take over a region... We must recover them. Such loyalty to the orcs. I... wait, are you one of mine? You know what, I'm just going to kill you just to be sure. If you are one of mine, then sorry about that, but you know how it is. You know how it is. Can't save an orc without killing a couple of omelets or whatever the saying was. Hello. You, you would come. Or even East Bruce, but if he ain't blows and I'm not interested in his quest line. I mean, Bruce is an Olog, and an Olog is kind of default bloated if you ask me, just because he's so big. So, oh, can you just. Oh my god, can we just cut you free? There we go. Oh my god. Okay, I see the issue here. Okay, I do want to tip. Ah, there we go! There we go! So I do actually have that ability. I had it the entire time, I just did not realize it. Wait, who are these bl uh, blokes? No! Are you doing it again? Yeah, you are. Oh wait, there's several of you. Oh, ah, fucking hell. Okay, one of them has downed me, but it's still my first pain, so still pretty okay, I would say. Oh my god, how the fuck did you get through that? Okay, none, none of you are trying to claim me. Okay, now someone's trying to claim me. Yeah, that's bloated enough. Two quests. <laughs> Happy that I could. Oh my god. Ah, I hate Nazgul fights so much. Nazgul are so annoying because every hit is just a stupid teleportation hit from off screen. Retry, let's go. Okay, let's try this one again. If it's just one Nazgul and you can put your full focus your on him, then that's one thing. Them. But Such as soon as you're getting orcs. into multiple Nazgul territory, it's just always a scenario. <laughs> just always a case of, okay, you are most likely not going to see all of them at once. Okay, do I need to... I don't know. Is there even much of a point? Who is my strongest follower here to rescue? I, oh god, Takra is here as well. Uh, is there a point in me? Okay, I mean, let's go for one that is not right next to a Nazgul. I think that's probably going to be smarter. The weakness to terrify you are Nazgul fights. I'm not terrified of them, they are pr very doable. The thing about the Nazgul fights though is they can be just obnoxious as hell because of their teleporting in and out. 
Okay, can we please unleash this guy before a Nars crew is done? Oh my god. Just cut him loose. There we go. They're doing some kind of ritual. Good for them. Okay, so some kind of ritual, I can work with that. I can work with that. Hello. We knew you would come. Now, join your army in service to the Witch King. How about no? So just cut him loose, please. There we go. There we go. Now we are talking. Okay. Eh, oh god. Okay, that's not quite what I had in mind. Oh. Okay, Lorm the Chosen has been killed already. Oh no, and one of my guys is dying. Okay, you know what? Forget the Nars school. We are going to save our dude. Who is that? Wait, is that... Oh wait, is it just the Elven... Ch no, who are you? Please get up. There we go. I return to the fight. And oh, looks like my other dude is taking care of Mozu the Chosen. So yeah, looks like my dudes are actually wrecking havoc in there. So that's good. Okay, and you actually decide to go into combat range for once. I can work with that. I can actually work with that. Ay ay ay. Fuck off. Cool asshole. Ah, look at that, look at that, look at the way they fight, look at the way they fight, it's just obnoxious. Nope, fuck off. As soon as I see you, they are so easy to actually deal with, like look at that, that was nothing. Problem is, most of the time I don't see them. Or they try to stay away from you and do bullshit, but as it turns out, bullshit is not going to do he'll help you here. There we go. So, um, one of my followers still needs to be rescued apparently, so I have you. There we go. So your weakness to- oh, god damn it. Wait, oh, that was just my own dude there. <laughs> Hello! Okay, what's that? Why do I have a feeling that they're going to betray me now? Our army remains strong, and we have all but assured the Nazgul cannot track us. But they are still not defeated. As long as they are out there, we are not safe. You least of all. I mean, as long as Nzalhorn is out there, nobody's safe, so who cares? Okay, that was a pretty easy mission. That was a very easy mission right there. Reversal of fortune, uh huh. Rescue follow. Skill upgrade unlock. Shadow dominate. Ooh. Noise. Activated skill upgrade allows you to shadow dominate a grunt or a broken cat. Oh, that's so useful. Our followers are returned and the Hydea are secure. The Nazgul's power is diminished. And yet, this sense of dread grows. Okay, there seems to be a good dagger hanging around here somewhere. There we go. Gondorian dagger. Is it a good dagger? Nah, not as good. Not as good as I would like it to be. So, um, is there anything other than the story quest left? I guess we need to progress. I mean, I'm going to check the other regions real quick. But it looks like we actually do need to do the big uh, Bright Lord quest if we want to progress any further. So how about we do that? Because I know the game is far from over even if we take on a quest. It's talking about something being basically irreversible afterwards. But I don't remember what it was. But we are definitely not done with the game the yet. To Baradur and to Sauron. So where exactly is that starting point? No, like seriously, where the hell is that? On all the way on the other side? It's always so fun when we can finally just roam free around one of those areas. Hey, and there's even more intel hanging around. Wait, that's actually one of my guys. You could have just came to me and tell me. You do realize that. 
You know what? Works for me. Wait, what? Oh, my bad, it's the intel on the table there. My bad, I really thought it was you. You shouldn't have hunched over the table. Should not have done. Hey, it's an Olog. Ad Baruch, life drinker. Okay, this is the most track looking ass we had so far. Like, look at this man. Look at how green he is. This man has a facial, facial expression that's like he's constantly thinking about Somebody once told me the world. Do, 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 do. Look at him, you can't tell me you don't see it. Okay, so that is a man that I would like to get at some point. Oh, also there is a symbol to get here, so we should probably just get that while we have that. No turning pad. Warning you're about to enter the final battle for Dominion over Mordor. Bright blood and the world itself will be irrevocably changed after this point. Before you start this mission, you can ensure that you have explored the story quest of Elatrial, Bruce, Khan, Idril and Baranor. Huh. Okay, so I guess we do actually need to do the group. I mean, there is no Bruce quest left Around right us. now. <clears throat> I think we're fine. <coughs> if anyone in the chat right now knows anything about that, like, okay, we should or should not do any of this anymore. But I'm pretty sure we can progress afterwards even further. And I don't see any other quests left anywhere, no matter how often I check. Let's have a look around here, just in case it doesn't show it on the overworld. Okay, so it just doesn't show the quest on the overworld. Just do it. No, 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 we've just found out. For God knows which reason, these quests are no longer shown in the overworld. Khan has sacrificed himself so the Targoyrov could be destroyed, but Zog remains and the wind carries an ominous smell of decay. Okay, so the question does remain where the hell the Bruce quest is and stuff like that, but we found one quest to do, so let's do it. It's always power wash. <laughs> no, 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 okay, there's a couple more quests to do here. But we are definitely getting closer to the end of this now. We are 100% getting closer to the end of this playthrough. There's also a ca- oh, hello! No, ah, got the Okay, kind of an awkward start to this, but hey! We are learning, we are learning. Who are you? Arhisu Lumphead. I don't see how his head is any lumpier than any other Olux for sure. Closing in on Power Wash. We are, we are in a sense. Honestly, I am kind of excited for Power Wash, because I've heard good things about Power Wash in the past. So I am very curious, and I can definitely see with Power Wash why people like it, because it did look kind of relaxing whenever I saw someone do something with it. It's definitely not a game that I would play every day, but on days where I mostly wanna chat with you guys, it's probably gonna be a good option. And on days where I'm actually just going to try to suffer a little more, we can do Rain World again, because I really want to continue Rain World as well. Were there any other games that were still open in a sense? Oh god. A friend of mine is loving it. Ah, that's good then. I mostly know it from Takahata101, if any of you know that VTuber. He sometimes played it with friends and it looked pretty enjoyable whenever they did. So I was like, oh, yeah, you know what, that might be one of the few good simulation games out there. I also know that this game constantly get, gets updates. Like, they recently got an update that basically added a region from Spongebob to the game. Which is just so fucking weird, but also kind of funny. And we do appreciate devs that actually support the game that they are developing. Far too many devs are just like, no fuck off. Okay, could you please just get out of the way, my man? There we go. Is the character... Yeah, you know what. I'm just going to go manually over there. We're just going to go there on foot. But he usually plays really boring games. That's not the glowing enticement that I was hoping for, if I'm completely honest, but okay. What kind of really boring games is she playing? 
All right then, a stench on the wind. Let's figure out what's going on here. You have sacrificed much. Long afore, buried was Targorat by Karnan in Doom Shadow. Aghast my forest destroyed, my brood scattered. Now again, fire is buried, drowned in ice. I do wonder if anyone has ever cosplayed her. And from decay come the gloom. I mean, all things considered, you look pretty happy. Unbroken. Okay. Farming themes. Ah. It was an Uruk in Gorgoroth. This. Zog. Trainer of Targoroth, he. Death's midwife. Raised Targoroth. Raised Orklings. A necromancer. Ah. He is near. No one is 10 Stains meters tall, who should cosplay her? Of course, magic. someone needs to stand on the shoulders of someone Come else who stands on the shoulders of Dwimmer another person. Coughed. That's how you do it. Lies like tide waters. Base born, beset. Beset by death. I didn't really listen to her, they but considering the way she speaks, I probably wouldn't know anything By else just because she speaks him. to me as well. And honor your sacrifice. I think the foul or return this them might to probably dust. be the only character that Kelle Brimbo respects in Perfect. the entire game. He Maybe that's why I like her so much. Like, if Calibrimbo respects her, she's a tough bitch. <laughs> so, find the source of the stench. Oh, sorry, did I forget the shower? I mean, if the stench starts to be physically visible, you should probably take a shower. Just pointing it out there. A tormented beast is he. Oh, to flesh oh the undead. Okay, for search for more revenant. Raise the dead. This zog cannot be far off. This is zog's disease. God, I love triple bear assassination so much. That's so cool. <laughs> Ah, there we go. But yeah, okay, then I'll have to check the other maps afterwards for all of the other quests, because... There. Oh! We must purify the necromancer totems. Only then can we end the ritual. We must purge this blight. I mean, I think we did do most of the story stuff already anyways. And closer still. But Bruce's story is actually one of the best written ones, in my opinion, in this game, together with this one. Like, the actual main, main story is, like, me. Oh, let me put it like that. The less humans are happening in a story in this game, the better it usually is. You know what, let's just try to terrify them. Hello! I don't think you can terrify these guys. Hello! Soon! Maybe you get to actually have some extra dialogue now. We meet again. Oh, Zog, my I am bad. Zog, and I've been watching you for some time. You're the inspiration for all this. What better army to defeat a dead man than a legion of undead orcs? <laughs> Can you actually dominate these guys, I wonder? Like, are you joining me? Nope, okay, so these guys just explode if I try to dominate them. I see. Hello, you're trying to bomb me. I see how it is. I see. Okay, you. Ow, oh, wow, wow, that hit, that hurt. Okay, where has the 
We will try the Necromancer totem. Oh, and you're a wall breaker. Gotcha. I see how it is. No. Would you stop it with the shot for a moment? I need to take care of your minions for a moment. And there we go. Now we are talking. Oh, and he brings them back up again. I see how it is, Zor. I see how it is soon. What do you even call that? Dim wit! You're not fighting us, Ranger. You're fighting the future. The dead will take Mordor for themselves. And not even you can stop us. Oh, there's more fun to come. And he fucked off again. Alright, time to purify the totem. Time to purify the totem. Could have probably started with the purification, but... Did oh. Oh, okay, so this is how we purify the totem. Gotcha. Eliminate the remaining remnants. Yeah, yeah. You could say they are the remnants of the remnants. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so funny. <laughs> Why is the main character running like he's the biggest dick in history? Because he has the <laughs> He has so to carry his dangerous. own dick his and kill a Brimworth dick. So. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> so what else do we have here? Uh, Elven Light unleashed a powerful blast to full sudden temporary and blinding. Elven Light also freezes enemies, sets them on fire or poisons them. Ooh. You know what I mean? It depends on what we are going for, but I do actually like the ability to we add some extra down, text there. Wherever they are. So, is there yet another story quest on here? These are just Outlaw and Slaughter Tribe quests, so I don't have to bother with those. What is this, though? Missing! Hey, alright, so I guess it literally just was a case of these quests not being uh, shown on the overworld it appears screen. Ratbag has need of us. Yeah, I'm out. But do not let him distract you from our true mission. <laughs> it is kind of funny how even Caleb Brimbo has at least a slight amount of patience for Red Bag. And it's like, God, this guy is so pathetic. Okay, we can, we can help him a little if you want. There's been a murder here. Oh, one could say there has been a murder here, yes. Okay, so that's how an assassination works on a Category Rider. <laughs> and there is... Oh, I think this guy... No, he has not seen me. They are just fighting. Ah, they are just fighting some of my men. Ah, you know what? I think that's a good opportunity to get some more intel. Do I need to take care of my nemesis around here? Ooh! Us Talmo the legend, I didn't even remember you if I'm completely honest. Us Gang the Stitch, that is a problem we still need to take care of at some point. Before we get oh god. Before we get to the final mission, I probably also want to wrap up with all of the orcs that have been our arch nemesis all around the world. Because there are still a couple of people I have not. Fin I have open business with. Open business? Can you say it like this? Unfinished business, that's how you say it in English. Because in German it would be a Rechnung offen, which basically translates to an open bill, but in English it's unfinished business, and I've kind of made it an amalgamation out of the two. I need your help! I've lost Ranger! How do you lose an Olog? He was taken! And this messenger by his food bone. Isn't there an expression about killing the messenger? Yeah, always kill the messenger. Well, that actually explains a lot. So what did he have to say? He said, if you ever want to see your pet again, bring the Shrack eight and grave walker. Don't do that. Oh, <laughs> don't do that. You realize this is a trap? Well, oh. of course. But you owe me. And you, old ranger. After all, we got rid of bruise for you. Not exactly how I remember it. Well, we could quibble over details all day. The <laughs> fact is, we're your boys. What will the other horse <laughs> like think if you don't stand up for one of your own? He's right. Orcs follow strength. If we allow our soldiers to be attacked without retribution, it will be seen as weakness. You may have a point. I do? 
I mean, yeah, I do. Now come on, let's go get Ranger. <laughs> and there you go. Every random orc has more charisma than the main character. Oh, absolutely. That's why. Oh, Jesus Christ, where did you come from? That's why I always keep saying that the character I am playing here is not Talion, it is Celebrimbor. Because Celebrimbor is so much more interesting. Talion, on the other hand, is just a classical. Well, long haired, slightly bearded white guy with a sword out for vengeance that you find in so many games. Like, that's basically the archetype for every character in a video game, or rather, every protagonist in a video game made in the 2010s. That's kind of awkward now. Oh. Could you just get... Okay. Could you just get up there? This is starting to get an... Okay, I should probably not try to pull myself up there because this is just becoming ridiculous. Okay, we're just going to drop down. <laughs> okay, um, hello, hello everybody. How are you all doing on this fine day? I hope good, 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 good. Um, I've heard there have been a couple of problems around here. We're just here to solve them real quick. Do not mind us, we are just going to go complete our business. And then we'll be out of your hair right away. How does that sound, huh? How does that sound? Oh, that was such an awkward little interaction we just had there. I guess they don't attack you that fast on the regular difficulty, but everything they do is speed up, uh, is sped up on Brutal. So that did make it very funny. Um, ah, there's the... Uh, oh my god, I just wanted to get that. The glorious bright lord. Only that little sniveling crap I would manage to get you here. Bruce! I'll show you sniveling. What have you done with Ranger? Shut your trap. This is between me and the Grey Wolf. Come down here. It will end this. <laughs> and, uh, this is just the beginning. First, it has to hurt. Then, if one of my boys kills you or that sniveling rat, so much the better. Oh shit, they all have Dia Karagor. That's when the real fun starts, damn it. Alright, Karagor kill time, I guess. I mean, I do have the bigger mount there, you do realize that, Bruce. Just asking for a friend. So, there we go. Oh, and. You fucker, get off that bloody thing, I can take that over. I think I guess we are just hitting the category right now. There we go, and yet another dire category for our collection. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that lovely? This is just my usual fighting technique against category riders, and you gotta admit, it kind of works, it kind of works very well. Is there anyone else? Oh, I think that was the last one of them. Eaten by his own Dire Category. Isn't that nice? The Dire Oh my god. You know what the Dire Categories remind me of? Come back the T-Rex from shot. Jurassic World He's Evolution. Gone. The Indominus Rex. But we'll see him again. We better. Because I'm not done with him. Listen to me. We will find Ranger. We'll take care of Bruce once and for all. I'm not just gonna sit on my ass and wait. I will scour every inch of Mordor until I find him. And when I do, you will be the first to know. <laughs> I like how Redback manages to be brave for all of 10 seconds before he's, uh, he's like, and then you will kill him. Then we'll kill them. No, he must be made an example of, or others will rise to take his place. Then we'll kill them as well. Why kill countless challengers when you can stop it all by breaking one? Because we are here to win a war. And not play your politics. His politics Mordor is literally winning a war. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with Calibrimbo on this one again. 
animal of Leo's. Just kill the ox and let the pure animals alone. Hey, I did save as many of those categories as I could, didn't I? The longer Bruce survives, the more orcs will rally to his cause. Popping off heads is hardly a cause. But you're right. We need to deal with him. So, there we go. That is collected. And where are... Is there a new mission in regards to... Uh, the entire... the All of these missions in regards to the outlaws and the slaughter tribe do make it a little hard to see where the actual bloody story missions are, right? What is this, for example? Proud of the outpost leader. Ah, huh, I guess there's still an outpost that I don't control, but quite frankly, I don't see how that is my problem. Okay, so, but that is everything in none and done. So, let's take a look at... Which region? Let's take a look at Sirif Ungor first, because I would kind of expect Sirif Ungor to be in the next one. There we go, yeah. And, okay, yeah, both of those missions are around there. Anything else? No, I think those are basically the only storylines left to complete. Save the best for last, didn't we? We saved the best for last. Who even was our bodyguard in Sirif Ungol? It's been so long since I ever went to Sirif Ungol that I've kind of completely forgotten about it all. You know what, let's have a quick look at the army screen. Let's have a quick look at the army screen. Ah, yes, Ionic the Black Elm. I do remember this guy. And there's Donald Trump. I don't remember why he was Donald Trump anymore, but that was Donald Trump. We actually didn't take over all that many orcs in this region. We weren't very thorough. We basically just finished this off and then moved on with our lives, didn't we? Oh, well. Well then, Brucey, my boy. The Bruce is loose and we will sh capture him. The orange man is back. He was never gone. He was never gone, my man. He's a war chief. We have turned Donald Trump into a political figure. In middle of as well. Ranger, we have to act quickly. Follow me. Let me guess. You received another message from Bruce. Oi, and you're not gonna like what he had to say. Bruce snatched up some of your boys and poisoned them. He wants you to know that if you don't move fast, they'll die. He needs to be stopped. While you sort this mess out, I'll get back to tracking Bruce. <laughs> Ratbag and Gravewalker will make quite a team. Just like you're old You're ignoring times. me, aren't you? Is it because I said Ratbag first? How about the Gravewalker and Ratbag? Nakra the Deep Seer. Ooh, cool looking dude. Hello. That's a cool looking dude right there. So, are we going... Okay, there's another thing to collect over there. I'm just going to pick them up since I'm here right now anyway. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. The structure of Gondor's army. From general to foot soldier. A structure the orcs will cast down the moment they set foot in Gondor. Oh, and there is Karagors. Okay, this is the place. You go do your thing, and I'll go do my equally important and heroic thing. Defeat enemies with Shadow Strike. That can be arranged, but let's... Oh, why did you have to jump down there? Why did you have to jump down there? Also, what kind of weird construct is this? Like, I was definitely here, I just never noticed the walkways, I guess. Um, I guess, is there even a good point to start? I guess we might just as well start wherever. Rescue all followers, every last one of them. Hello! And um, where is... Okay, you know what, I'm just going to start all the way over there. Might as well. Like, if we're shadow striking anyway, we might as well do it like this. There we go. Oh, oh my god. No, can you stop that? Okay, there we go. And you are going to give me my health back. I said all my health. You're lucky that you're going to survive this one. Oh, hey, it's Donald Trump. We're just talking about you, good sir. Also, I do have to reconsider right, if I really want you to be in the leading position, if that's how easily you are getting captured. 
I always want to know how exactly is he capturing those guys? Because my boys usually are quite tough. of its kind. Come on. There we go. Is there? Oh, wait. Is there literally no one else guarding him? Is it a dead Karagor? Oh, my Karagor kind of ripped into shreds. That's what happened. Let's go. The waiting was killing me. And that leaves us with but two more guys to moiter. Hello! There we go. That was pretty easy. We got around the Karagor riders very fast and quickly. So we're up. What now? The heat brute followers, so I guess we do have to kill every single one in here after all. Hello! Oh, there's a guy up there. Okay, who are you? Who? Oh. You lose! Are you anyone important? No, I won't fail, Bruce. You'll suffer for what you did to him. <laughs> oh, aren't you a loyal little cocksucker? Like, uh, he, I'm sure he will be so grateful for that. You useless piece of nothing. Okay, and can I grab you now that you're broken? Yeah, just die. <laughs> I don't think your plan was all that great, plan maker. Just putting it out there. I think that's the first time we actually killed a captain with gravity as well during the entire playthrough, so I that's something. I've had enough of Bruce and his antics. So, okay, and there's another mission somewhere around here, wasn't there? Yes, 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 the waypoint over there. Uh, we're just going to teleport there and give me a second. Or, you One know what, I want to do this mission first. Because I do have many, something cooking in the oven, in which I'll have to turn off, but I think... I should do it after one more mission, otherwise it won't be entirely thoroughly through. I mean, the noodle casserole. Gravity that bloats its worst enemy. <laughs> I mean, gravity is the biggest killer in many a video game. Oh, hello. I should have probably killed you, shouldn't I? Also, also, what's with the intel dude down there? Hello. Do you have anything of interest to say to me? Yeah, I'm mostly doing this because I want to have more of the orcs uncovered. So, let's move on. Let's move on with our lives. Not the far. Oh, Jesus. Okay, something big is going on over there. There's a group of wild catacors wrapping in the shreds. There's so much more going on at any given moment in this game than the first one. It's astounding. Oh, wait, that's a, ca that's a captain. Oh, fuck! long way to find you. By the look on your face, you are not nearly as happy to see me as I am to see you. My sword! You're back. At least we can't say you're scared of your own shadow. You're so dead. I kind of am, ain't I? Okay, let's think about this. Oh, and... This guy is always blood. running away. Bloody blood! Who are you? Blood. Bloody blood! Okay, um, let's think about this. First things first, this guy is retreating, so that's something. And let's get a couple of guys in here. If I remember correctly... Ow, crap. If I remember correctly, you were immune to your yeah, arrows, anyway. <laughs> Ow, Jesus Christ. No, no, I am not falling for that one. But I've noticed that you are freezable. So I did not want to have my... Oh, fuck, what just hit me there? What? Oh, there's still archers around. Okay, so I will have to take care of those. Where's my bodyguard, by the way? Did I have a bodyguard here? Okay. Is the other guy climbing up to me already? I'm just going to shoot you a couple of guys. Oh, I don't know what exactly just happened, but this is certainly quite chaotic, right? Oh god. 
Oh, and you are a mutant. How did I aim for you there, in all honesty? Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I mean, that's the first downer, and as long as you have not learned to finish me off for good with that, we are still okay for the time being. That being said, I am in rough shape, because for the time being, might change rather quickly here. So, what do we need to succeed here? What do we need to succeed? First things first, we need our health back. I have no idea if we summoned anyone, if I'm completely honest with you. Like, I used my summon. Oh! And looks like Asgang the Stitch did my job there for me, so that's something good. Because if I only have to deal with one guy, that immediately increases my chances of success. Oh, and you have bestial frenzy again. Of course you have bestial frenzy as well. Why wouldn't you have bestial frenzy? Like, if you could have bestial frenzy, you would want it as well. Oh, and you're enraged by fire! Right, I remember now, I remember now. You were just a bastard all the way around, weren't you? Oh, Jesus Christ, where did you come from? No! No! Oh god damn it, Jesus Christ, those hits hurt! Those hits hurt a lot! Oh my god, stop it with the wild flailing! Okay, calm down, calm down. I mean, we are still in the process of getting rid of all of his troops. That is the number one goal right now, before... Oh, okay, there's some of my boys. Oh. Some of my boys are up here, so maybe we do have an opportunity here. Hello! You are the fuel that feeds the fire! You are the iron that stokes my fury! Oh, that's so nice that you think so highly of me! Oh! Okay, did I freeze him now? Yes, we did freeze him now. Oh god, he's flailing around. But there we go! Okay, that's one hit. Oh no, I, I, I did not want to do that. Oh god! Okay, still alive, still around. Okay, don't burn the man, though, not the far. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not falling for that one again. I am not falling for that one. This is, yeah, this is not doing anything to you. Not far. Oh god, the beasts are. Oh, oh my god, I didn't get my execute out in time. Ah, this guy is a problem. <laughs> Which level does he have now? I remember when killing you felt special. Now it's a bit ordinary. Sorry. Level se What for level did he just get? 77? Okay, that that will be quite something to deal with. And he's now on a map where I can't do much about him. <laughs> Because here I can't easily send an assassin or so after him. Okay, while this plays out, I'm just going to pick my catarot out of the order. You failed miserably. I mean, one of the two that ambushed me is dead, the other one ran away. So, asking the Stitch is the only one we still need to take care of, hey! I hate the fact that he's damaged by fire, but also enraged by burning. That makes it so awkward to deal with him. What does susceptible to frost even mean? Can be frozen by frost attacks and that ice storm and freeze blast. I guess Olox usually can't get that. He's enraged by so many things. Yeah, the Grauk really doesn't do anything there. Immune to curse, poison proof. 
I guess I can still burn him. Yes, he will enrage, but still better than nothing. Okay. Let's think about this. Let us think about this. First things first, we are going to do the mission that we came here for. But I can guarantee you this is one of the guys that I will deal with before we finish this game off. <laughs> there is this handful of Uruks that I really want to take out. Well, in his case, an Orlok. Wait, who is it in total now that I think about it? It's Lorm Lucky Shot, that's for sure. I don't care too much about the other Lucky Shot guy, because let's be honest, the other Lucky Shot guy was just there, there's nothing big between him and me. He killed me once in a very brutal way, but other than that, we don't really have much of an interaction. Then Grom the Forms one, he also has to die. Lorm Stone Fist, Warmonger tank, okay. I really need more orcs in this region, don't I? Overwhelming. I really need a couple more orcs in this region. Also, also, I am moving away from where I actually wanna be. And other than that, I think I don't really have any living nemesis anymore. I guess the Unashamed is still around. Do we want to kill the Unashamed? Do we have to kill the Unashamed? Do we even care about the Unashamed anymore? Like, we have shamed him out of his overlord position, and we also shamed him after he no longer was an overlord. So it's like, why even bother, huh? There we go. You know what, you know what, I've got a job for you, my man. I've got a job for you, my man. We are going to finish this now. I have decided, nope, no more dilly dilly. Oh god. Also, also, who the fuck is my bloody bodyguard on this map? Yeah, fast bro is not available. Do I even have one? I think I just don't have a bodyguard right now. So, you are epic. This is, this is my selection there. I mean, I guess we have Grook Dead Killer as well available to us. I guess I'm going to take you if I'm completely honest. Gosh. Like, you are not great, but at least you look somewhat special if you're a little burning bone. What kind of abilities do you even have? Epic. Oh, summons a Grawlok to fight alongside him. Not really useful against the guy that we are going for. Gosh. But other than that, pretty nice, pretty nice. He's epic already, isn't he? So there is no Crush. upgrading him to epic to even higher traits. Yeah, he is already epic. I guess I can also give him a category just for good measure. And one last time. Crush. You know what, even though it will enrage the other dude, I think we should probably try to just murder the man now. And considering that he is level 80, oh fuck yeah, because we sent him a death threat, we leveled him up even further. Did he lose any of his weaknesses? No, I think he's at the point where he basically can't lose oh, anything scum. anymore or win anything anymore. He's just too far ahead already. So, yeah. Crush. Training orders and get a Karago as well while we're at it. There we go. Alright, so we've created ourselves a nice little bodyguard there. And how about you, Morse. my friend? Training orders. Get more levels as well. I do remember that all of them had fire weapons because there were so many war chiefs they needed to kill with fire Morse. weapons on this map. There we go. Mozu the Pickler. Oh, the Pickler. I always read it as the Prickler. Mozu. I mean, I don't know what a Prickler is either. I guess Pickler does make more sense. But Prickler is also a word, isn't it? I mean, I Mozu. might be misremembering there. Oh, we cannot send him to kill, apparently. Okay, that's a shame. Can we actually command these guys to kill someone? I think we can. I think we actually can. What do you do, by the way? Flame weapon, that's about it, right, that's about it, just flame weapon. 
You know what, I am still going to give you a training order because I kind of want to see what kind of epic trade you could get if I turn you into my champion. Because if you get something good, maybe, maybe it will help. Epic smoke bomb. Nah, not really all that convinced. Not really all that convinced right now. Maybe Grook Dead Killer would have been the better Good. choice. Do I still have enough to upgrade you? I am throwing so much money out right now. I could turn... Okay, you know what? We are just going to turn upgrade you. There we go. Because I think Grook Dead Killer will probably have the Good. best chance at success there. We are going to upgrade you one more level, even though he doesn't have any form of epic trade. Oh, and he gained a free character. Oh, how nice. And last but not least, the flaming weapon. There we go. So Grook Dead... You know what? Why did I think of this sooner? Grook Dead Killer! We are fighting a zombie! Of course this is the man for the job! And he has the nipple rings to prove it! Alright, time to take on Asgang the Stitch then. Time to take on Asgang the Stitch then. Also, also, Crosh Beastmaster, Crush. I do have another job for you. I am getting a little annoyed with Hawk the Shadow, so how about you just go and murder the man? Do I have a job for most of the pricklers? Well, no. Alrighty then, Asgang the Stitch. You have followed me to the ends of the earth and I will give you that. I will give you the... wait. Where is the fucker? Where is he right now? So, and dodge real quick because ah, yeah, we are getting attacked. Okay, he's pretty far away. Pretty far away. I think we should be stealthed now. Okay, fast travel is not available. I guess we are still hunted by someone. Oh, one guy still has a clear visual on us, apparently. I should probably just keep running. Yep, they are getting closer. I should keep running. Okay, 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 okay. Take the man on. Take the man down. This guy has been a problem for far too long. You know what, maybe I'm going to take on the other guys as well today. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to save them or something, but they have been issues for far too long by now. I also want to actually send death threats to at least the, Lorm, the Force One. Was he? He was not called Lorm the Force One. Lorm was the lucky shot. What was the other one called? I think Gorm. Gorm or Grom. Something very similar to Lorm. Wait, where exactly is that pickup? Is it on the chain? On that little thing here? Ah, yeah, there it is. All of the series of Ungol Gondorian artifacts. And there's another in Finest crystal found in roughest Mordor. Fascinating. Surprised the orcs didn't smash it just to hear the sound. Oh. Come on, fuck off. I just want the intel as always. I just want the intel as always. There we go. Who are you? Wrong the Humiliator. Ah, let me guess. You have to trade Humiliate somewhere in there, Anla. Okay, it doesn't really look... Wait. Are you called the Humiliator while you don't actually humiliate? Huh, that's surprising. That is surprising. Okay, let's get out of there before we actually die to these few idiots here. That would be kind of awkward. That would be kind of awkward. Alright, time to actually get our revenge. Honor death threat. Except your challenge is waiting to face you in combat. You think I can't do this? And I will show you if this is possible. This fucker has been hanging around for far too long. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe this was a bad idea after all. Like, I'm looking at this and I realize that this might be a bad idea after all. You got what you wanted. I am here 
waiting for you to unleash your righteous fury. But how long will I have to wait? Okay. You are persistent, aren't you? So am I. Especially when I'm ensuring that a hated enemy dies a slow, agonizing death. Okay, you know what? We are going to get the Grauk in here as well. Enraged by burning. Yeah, I, I knew that we would enrage the man, but there was no other chance to do this because I do need to mow through his army here first as well. So hopefully, there you go. If, uh, hopefully, we'll just be able to take care of most of his troops with the Grauk before it dies. That would be ideal. There we go, a little bit of health back, a little bit of health back. And there we go, there's still the Ulog around here. And okay, you are dead, that's a shame, but it was to be expected. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, and that was my... Oh fuck! And he's already finished off my personal bodyguard. Okay. Alright, that does not... You know what, I'm just going to... Oh fuck, I did not even get to land that hit. Yeah, I know! Get up! Okay. So much for that. Okay, there's still archers over here. Hello! Think about defeating me. You're thinking about it, aren't you? I mean, a little bit. What's it? Oh, my dude is summoning new guys. That's actually cool. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, okay. Careful now, careful now. We are actually... You know what? Any level of health that we... Oh, okay. He's frenzied. He's frenzied. It is so weird that he's enraged by fire while being weak to fire as well. No! Why? Okay, shouldn't he be breathable? Like, didn't you have some form of weakness to frost him, if I remember correctly? Okay, now you are actually weak to frost for once. No! Oh god, Jesus Christ, those explosions are a little dangerous there, my man! Just pointing it out there, you might want to cut back on those for a little bit at least. We've done so little damage to him. Oh fuck! No! Oh god! No! Can you please get... No! Oh, oh no, this is bad. I think I'm going to lose my... Well, maybe I'm not going to lose my follower there, because I died first. Ah, I think this guy is probably maxed out in regards to level now. The threat was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe it was a little too much. I will have to give that to him. Can he even level up anymore? I don't think he can even level up anymore. I think 85 might be the max level. <laughs> We've got, literally gotten ourselves a maxed out orc over here. Okay, forget the dual death threats, forget anything like this. There is still another way of doing this. There is still another way of handling an orc that is out of control. And that is by simply sending a... Wait. Oh, I can't send my war chiefs out. Okay, fair enough. Okay, but that does not change the point that I was trying to make here. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you two are dueling still. <coughs> <coughs> okay, change of plans. You are going to kill. Mazu. Why can I not send you in there? Oh, because you've got another mission going on already. Because you have got another oh. mission going on already. Wait, do you have as well? I think the other guy might have been in a mission as well right now. 
Okay, so where is the mission of that my boy is doing right now? That's not the one I'm looking for. There should be a duel somewhere around here. You know what, we're just going to look it up. We're just going to look it up. Oh, is that the... wait. Oh, they are involved already! I don't know why they are all involved already, but I guess my entire army wants to see Asgang the Stitch dead as well. The Dark Lord will be brought down by a dead man in a race. Yes, 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 you've said that so many times already, Talion. Okay, we need to teleport over there. I'm basically sending out the entire the army that I still have in this region. If that's not enough to kill Asuka and the Stitch, then nothing is. If he's going to survive this mission, then we need to give up on killing him for now, I would say. Oh god. That's a bad start to this. This is a bad omen. Oh my god, this level 85 bloody Orlok. It's always an Orlok. Last time around it was also an Orlok that gave me the most trouble. Because the Orlocks... Oh, Jesus Christ. Could you not get... Oh no, who are you now? Gonna punish you good for giving me a hassle. Who the fuck are you even? I don't care about you at all, my man. But maybe you can join my war effort. Like, in all honesty... Okay, ba -ba. Oh, right, I do have the poison cloud now. And... Oh. I've got a job for you, my man. I've got a job for you. I don't know where you came from. Whatever you want, bright lord. But you know what? Let's actually consider this a stroke of good luck. Just yet... Okay, apparently I've maxed out the amount of guys I can send into this mission. <laughs> well, under those circumstances... Oh, you guys are duking it out. Yeah, you can take care of the shadow in the, in the meantime. If you can take care of it, then good. If not, then nothing lost. And now get out of my sight. Do I still have a skill point available right now? Probably not, right? Yeah, no. Otherwise I would love to switch over to the Fire Blast. Alright there, Stitch. This is all the army I have in this area. You have to fall to an army, right? This guy can't survive an entire army. What they say about me. Those who join me live. Those who challenge me die. What the hell kind of camera angle was that? Take those supplies and we'll kill anyone who gets in our way. Alrighty then. I mean, how about we start by just enraging the man? Yes, he's enraged by burning, but he's also getting heavily damaged by it, so we might as well. So also, also, I really want to get rid of all of your supporters, so everything that does something there is good in my book. Also, also, he has not yet noticed me, actually. Oh, god damn it. Okay, there's my first man. Oh, there we go! That's what I was waiting for. Oh my god, that's so little damage. That is actually very little damage. Well, I could say too little damage. What am I even aiming for? I know that this man is arrow -proof. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Maybe going for the fire weakness is not working out after all. Oh wait. Ay ay ay. Okay, Grom the Haunted has died, but in all honesty, he is kind of forgettable. Oh, get off there. Where, where the fuck are you climbing up there? No! Okay, no. I'm not getting my allies back up here, aren't I? Maybe I should have used them more as resource. Okay, so there goes Asgore the Prickler. You didn't get to prickle much there. And the last one is down already. And the last one is down as well. Please allow me to at least get this guy up. I don't even know who that is right now, but I've lost two men so already. 
Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, so much for that. Do so even have a last chance left? No. Okay, I think this is the moment where we realize this guy is going to be a problem for later. I still remember what it felt like when you cut me down. Remember every detail. I hope you'll remember this defeat the same way. We are really not too performing all that well right now. He killed two of our guys and then killed us. This guy could have easily murdered every la Oh no. Ah yeah, that, that was what just happened. Well, I guess Crosh escaped, so that's something. But yeah, there's no way I can actually do anything about Asgore. I think if this guy shows up, I just need to accept that I'm going to die. Okay, let's take care of something else. Let's take care of something else, because we do have other nemeses that we still need to kill, that we can feel better about if we do. Wait, faster? Oh my god, I hate the fact that you do need to respawn before you can uh, fast travel again. It's like, okay, so I guess we're tapping out before we're doing this. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Don't cut yourself short, your damage is enough, it's how you use it and apply your damage. Ah, yes, my bad. So it's just a skill issue then, gotcha. Not the fact that I didn't even do like what? 2% of this guy's health pool by going all out. Even though burning is his weakness, I don't think I should try to enrage him anymore. Okay, who did we need to kill here? I know Lorm Lucky Shot was hanging around somewhere in here. Oh right, I did have my bodyguard in there. Group the Savage is still hanging around. Lorm Lucky Shot, you are Blood Brothers with Bagger Long Shot. I guess Archery does connect, but you are not the guys that we are going for right now. Grom the Force one, you are the one. We still have a lot to deal with, uh, a lot of unfinished business with. I guess we could technically speaking go for Borgo the Merchant. Where, where is he exactly? By killing his hunters. Could do that, but what do you have a savage for, if not for that? Oh, wait! He actually took over an outpost! That's what happened here. Okay, so I do actually have to play by his rules. Fair enough, fair enough. At least Grom the Force one is within our level reach, so it's not like a case... ...like with the fucking Olog that he's basically twice my level. I don't remember... Well, I do remember a lot about... Grom the Force one as well still. I have lost enough matches to Grom the Force one to remember him very well. Oh look what you did to me. Oh there'll be no mercy this time. Okay, you are arrowproof now, I see how it is. And frostproof as well, okay. But you did have a fear of execution. Ah, this is not a great start to this. This is the guy that we defeated at the end of chapter 1 during the story mission. But so far, it is going decently well, I would say. Like, I know the, the alarm bells are ringing. Oh. Come on. Oh, the, ah, yeah, yeah, that's her. Yeah, no, you are not going to sound the alarm there. And you are not going to do anything either. No one here is going to do anything. Oh, and you've adapted. Of course you've adapted. Of course. No. Oh my god. I do remember your bloody AoE scream. No, 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 no. We are dating you again. And there we go. Go, you bloody asshole. You think you can just really come back? I mean, you did have death defying. I doubt that you've lost it. Die by your hand. Never. You had to come back. You had to come back when I was already busy. Fear of execution still. There we go. There we go. There we go. We just need to basically reset this fear of execution every single time. Wait, did he adapt to... 
Okay, apparently he tried to adapt to executions. Didn't quite work out for him. Oh god. Okay, no, 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 no. First things first, you fuck right off. And secondly, let's get the Morgai flies in there as well. I, yes, he did it. Oh my god, why did he get to adapt to that of all things? Okay, under those circumstances, I might need my little. Oh, fucking hell! I want. I hate the fact that oftentimes when I try to mount the Olaf, he tries to go for a random weird grab. Oh, he's terrified. What's terrified in there? Is the crowd? I mean, I will. Yeah, he's. Fucker! Stop running away! Okay, I mean, I guess we can still teleport in there. I don't wanna die! Oh, you don't wanna die! You should have thought about that before you tried chasing after me. Okay, yeah, he's literally terrified of Grog. To be fair, that is probably the only reasonable reaction to a Grog. It can't be! It can't be! Fuck off, my man! You came back, and now you're gone again! Black the survivor, no you're not! Why are you immune to the flies? Is it cause you wash yourself more than the orcs? Maybe orc blood just tastes better than human blood. Could be the case, could be. Like, think about it like this, there's also people that ticks and mosquitoes prefer to bite over others, so it might just be that case. Shulgumi Shakam Outpost, what a name. And now the hunt shall end. This guy's literally not holding anything. Alright. I mean, I did deal with one nemesis already I had in here. They just didn't know that this other nemesis was also around. Wait, is there? Yeah, there is. Yeah. No. I just didn't want this guy to raise an alarm, that's why. Oh wait, I think other guys just saw me. I think other guys might have seen me. No! Oh fucking hell. You do not get to do anything here. I am the one in charge. So... Oh. Is a treasure orc? I mean, I guess, I guess I do have an execute ready. Oh, you know what? Change of plans. Detonation time! Oh, fucking hell, who are you now? Who are they to call to the spiders? You do not hear their call. You are an insult to the great spider! Okay. No idea where you came from, but in all honesty, you are. Oh! Okay, that was decent damage he did there. But I don't see you being the main issue here. And if you are, then, well, I don't know what to do about that then. And you actually... Oh my god, it's because the bloody berserker got me, didn't he? Okay, it's not great that we've lost... Oh no, 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 I see what you're doing there. I mean, I don't really see what you're doing there, but you're definitely doing something. No! Okay, broke the man. Oh, and in fact, I have an idea for you. I've got an idea for you. No, wait, how do you shadow dominate again? I have no idea how you shadow dominate again. But this oh, fucker summoned his arm. Oh my god! There we go. Alright, so that's one issue dealt with. Next! How many other orcs are going to ambush me before I finally get through this bloody region here to the guy I actually wanted to kill? Oh. Okay, I definitely also need more arrows. And if I remember correctly, that was one of the main weaknesses to run the cross one used to have. There we go, there he is. What happened to my hunters? Who's responsible? Grom, it's been a while, it's been a while. I think the last time we duked it out might have actually been in chapter one. Or at least close after the end of chapter one. Like that's one of my old enemies. I don't even know if any of you still remember him. 
maybe, maybe you do. I actually do, because unlike what some people believe here, I do care about my enemies in a deeply unsettling way. Oh, there is another guy over there. Hello! You are going to join the war effort. So, and you know what? Let's say hello. Hello, fucker! It's been a while! Why won't you stay dead? Do you have any idea how hungry I am? Why do you not stay dead? Do you have any idea how often I've killed you already? Also, also, Jesus Christ, why are you taking so much damage? You know what? You are actually... You are actually quite dead already. You know what? You are not going to be a problem anymore. In fact, you are only a secondary problem anyway. So you are going to join me. Oh. Okay, you had your chance. You're going to die. You won't, don't want to... If you can't live in my world, then you're going to die in yours. Okay, Ooh, the Olog is an issue. Oh no. The Olog might be an issue. Oh my god, yeah, that's the stuff. That is bloody regeneration. Look at that. And... Oh, ah, these fucking spiders! The guy dude isn't even around anymore and those spiders are fucking me up! No, this isn't over. Not yet. Not yet indeed, sadly enough. But we've expected everything up to this point, so let's get our bodyguard in here because I think... Ah, and you've adapted. Yeah, I kind of expect something like that to happen anytime soon. Okay, I do see a hunter there that needs to die. And I do see a Grom the Force one that still needs to die. Oh my god, what kind of explosive did you just throw? Hey, there we go! Oh my god, I think the little guy just hit me from the side. No, 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 okay, that's my second down gone. No, oh god, you do not... Hey, yes, interrupt him while he does that shit. Oh, fuck! I did not see that he was still swinging. Ah! Oh my god, if only I did not give him a chance to try. I'm a survivor, Ranger. Don't you forget it. I really thought I had it this time, but apparently I was wrong. Oh no, did my game just crash? I think my game might have just crashed. He might have survived, but my game sure as hell didn't. <laughs> oh my god, did we accidentally tap it about? Is it the next one you get to 85? Hopefully not, but at this point I'm not sure anymore. At this point I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, I think we need to force close the game. Let's force close the game for now and see what happens. Because right now nothing is reacting to anymore. Okay, apparently the game does not even want to be forced, forced closed again. Okay, you know what, you know what, I think now is as good a time as ever to wrap this up. Now is as good a time as ever to actually wrap this up. <laughs> Only five hours into the screen it crashes. Yeah, what a madness. Utter madness, right? Shameful, shameful. To be fair, I mean, this game has crashed a couple of times yet, but thanks to the fact that it saves a lot, it has never been too much of an issue yet. But yeah, I think it is time for me to wrap it up for the day before I feed even more XP to even more orcs. <laughs> but thank you all for joining me today. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, sorry, just finished long raid. Nothing to worry about, Eka. But thank you for joining me today and thank you for choosing me as your provider for background noise. I am going to eat some food now. It might actually be some time before I get to stream again because... Yeah, I think... 
at the earliest the next stream will be on Saturday and there will be a guaranteed stream on Sunday. But I actually don't think I will be able to do another stream beforehand. Until then, have a nice time. You and your stupid job. I'm sorry that I live in a world where I do need to get food and a place to live in. <laughs> Until then, have a nice rest of your week, y'all. There will be a video coming up on the YouTube channel tomorrow, so that's something for you to look forward to. And yeah, that's about it. Bye.